Hey, listen up. Uh, this is in respect to the video I have posted up earlier today. Uh, after I completed a really, really good work on Brazil in respect to MK Ultra, I have rated one uh, most likely as a setup fully fake British American German plot um, in this post right here. And the same day I have updated and cancelled the MK Ultra, which I have presented, have taken place in Brazil, where in which I have identified, rightfully so, uh, quite a few people. Um, and I did so because of some really, really violent news that popped up on, uh, on the internet suggesting me, first of all, being stupid, um, a retarded if you will say this and that, uh, and the newest range anywhere from Joe Biden and uh, then all the way to uh, Prince Edward um, and some other members of the royal family too. But this here is basically what really uh, determined me to just proceed and stop uh, the news in respect to Brazil, for which uh, Prince Edward uh, knew enough uh, it would take place so that he well prepared himself with his uh, family uh, to intervene in one uh, by the news that, that uh, I have just demonstrated you, in which was eventually to use uh, to number one suggest me that uh, something is mentally wrong with me, uh, because he insisted that if you're going to make a mistake, if you will make a mistake, then it's going to be something like this. Uh, if you're going to do the things wrong, then it's going to be something like this. And he had in particular in mind this exact news. News in the Sao Paulo, Brazil, planetarium, which I titled as Flying Saucer. I assume it's a planetarium. Um, I don't care what it is. This is really, really disturbing stuff. So, to insist that something is actually, like, is going to add, like, stupid, wrong with me, it's wrong with you, if you will say this, because Joe Biden, who delivered me to Slovenia, he also delivered me before that to Britain, and with the British, they flew to Slovenia afterwards. Uh, these people visited ongoingly, back and forth. during these MK Ultra sessions. Had me in Britain, from Brazil they took me, and so on, and back and forth. Uh, Joe Biden was the one who transported me last time. And it was only the well, last time, it was like beginning 2015, it would be always Joe Biden that would come to pick me up to Brazil and fly me back to Europe, or uh, Britain, or Slovenia, or whatever, or whatever location. And, uh, it, uh, it really, really captured my mind it might be maybe even funny to some of you something like this uh, but these people have deeply, deeply offended me with uh, hmm This is this is quite incredible, uh, quite incredible stuff. You know this stuff here. This is this is um, this individual is extremely extremely disturbing. I don't know if he is this disturbing as Prince Charles or Prince Andrew, or maybe he is even more disturbing. I don't like any of these people, but I'm going to tell you about the Prince Charles and Prince Andrew. A little. Uh, thing that goes back to year 1993, easily 30 years ago.
when I was hijacked from Slovenia to Russia. And that started in 1990, 1991 or 1990, maybe even 1990. Uh, and it's these people that would meet in Russia through Yeltsin. They would be meeting me in Russia through Yeltsin, through Boris Yeltsin. The man who even then traveled to Dambak in Warsaw, in Poland, in where I filed for political asylum in 2018, Boris Yeltsin uh, was the first Russian politician who was involved in it. Uh, but simultaneously, along were well, on the picture these British royals. Prince Andrew, Prince Charles. And I'm going to tell you how it all started, this stuff, cancer-wise. So I don't know whether... It could be funny to you that you see something like this, but... In 1993, Prince Andrew and Prince Charles played like good guys. They immediately started to play like... A, like they, 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 the first thing the Russians wanted to know and British is basically, uh, whom do you prefer? Or do you prefer British or do you prefer uh, Russians? And I had no reason to prefer Russians. Um, I could prefer British, but I don't know how the fuck I would prefer Russians in absolutely any way. Um, the war ended in Slovenia. The Serbs lost war in Slovenia and they had to retrieve, continue war against three other nationalities in so-called Yugoslavia, which was a federation of republics, uh, of which the biggest one was the Serbian. Uh, there was no jobs in Russia where you could travel and it was not really a land of opportunities. Uh, and our people historically traveled to Germany, to Italy. Um, I don't recall people that would travel to Britain. There is a lot of people that travel to Scandinavia for work. And of course, America always was the second homeland to Slovenian people, in case you did not know that. There's a lot of Slovenian people who historically traveled and populated also Canada next to the United States of America. Slovenia previously was part of Austria, so they probably regarded our people as Austrians. Austro-Hungarian Empire, Austria was, and then it became known as the Kingdom of SIS, of Yugoslavia, basically. So that they refer to them as the Yugoslavs. But for the most part, the people who traveled abroad were either from Slovenia or from Croatia, from what used to be previously known as Yugoslavia. Like going back into times when Joe Biden's family, let's say, immigrated to the US. And of course, before that. Um, so, you know, um, I uh, I had no reason to, to choose between the Russia, really, and between the West, because there was no... Russia was economical wreck. It was a post-Soviet economic wreck. Uh, there were some beautiful ladies, Russian ladies. I, I liked Russian ladies, I always did. Um, I had a Russian car in front of my house, but things uh, did have it from the worst to the worst to the worst to the worst, especially when Russians chose opposed to Croatia to support in war on Balkans, uh, or rather Serbia. Uh, it became evident they were supporters of the Serbia. Uh, all along from beginning to the end. So this was, this was just unfortunate, I consider it, as a, a relationship between me and between the Russians, as for the future wise. Didn't want to have nothing to do with it anymore. Um, and was instead taken to the medical examination 
That was medical examination 92, actually. And it, there is a strong possibility it was not even in 93, as I stated, but already in 1992 that I was transferred next after the medical examination, prior to which people like Vladimir Putin, who provided a physical protection for, uh, for Boris Yeltsin, men who even traveled to Danbak Asylum, and have spent time in what he stated me, according to MP Ultra, that you're going to have a proof inside of Asylum Center in a Denmark in Warsaw, in Poland, that I was here. I did document that on my website. Uh, it's where I filed for political asylum in 2018 and was inside of the room where Boris Yeltsin also was in that asylum in Poland, he just did this uh, to give me, I suppose, a proof. Um, and um, it was through these people, through people like Vladimir Putin, that they started to insist that I'm going to have to return for the hospital, however, it's going to be for a surgical procedure, uh, and how they're going to implant me cancer. This did not go through preliminary conditioning on who do you like. They were basically playing with the sun. It's like me having you drugged up next to somebody else and would be asking you basically whom do you prefer. Uh, and that threatened you basically straight in your face. In my case, Russians threatened me with the West, not on that opportunity, but who do you prefer this and that? And then so then you're going to have to go and you're going to have this cancer procedure done. And it was done in such a slow and sadistic way so that I possibly could memorize the event as much as possible uh, with British playing immediately. Uh, already before they're like a good guy and Russians playing a bad guy when in fact they were all working together with one another. It's what Americans later refer to as same issue as a lunacy they play with wars with the countries in the Middle East and uh, throughout Africa and so on. It's always a good and bad guy and the bombs are raining from good and from the bad when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, Lavrov was the one who was on the picture before even Vladimir Putin found his way to Yeltsin. Lavrov was an advisor of... Lavrov is the oldest man inside of the Russian, if you did not know, inside of the Russian government. This is a Yeltsin guy, Sergei Lavrov. This is the man with the policy, foreign policies and so on, longer than anybody else. Uh, a remainder of uh, Boris Yeltsin, and that Putin was personally selected by Boris Yeltsin as a successor in 1993. Uh, and so I find it truly disturbing that uh, people like this who have gone an extra mile to assist the Russians in this genocide by providing here Slovenian side with tools necessary to experiment, to, to really engage in, a, in, a, in a human experimentations, literally in a butchery with a cancer, with thrombosis, with all kinds of issues they encounter from all sorts of people. Started with a Putin uh, cancer, lymphoma, and then whenever they had encountered in other people, they would either promote them into the case through Hollywood, which was whatever way, uh, or would simply, if these people already, if there were some people that already had these issues, uh, they would use that to inflict on me greater and greater damages that in no possible way you possibly could benefit from is the shit that went on for 30 years, talking about the butcheries, human experimentation. And the British 
it's exactly what I stated. It's like a Russian looking itself in a mirror. That's what British is. There is no difference between the two, if you ask me. I'm not British. I'm not Russian. I'm American citizen, naturalized American citizen since 2000, born in Slovenia. I had nothing to do with one or the other other than what people, these people did to me together with joint forces, basically. That's all it is. I'm just a survival, survivor or something more uh, than Russia or Britain alone. These people managed to pull for the sake of one another what the British activists and Americans, which they definitely do for the sake of Germany, for the sake of Berlin, uh, Russians just acted for the sake of Moscow, together with other Eastern Europeans who did not know in what this thing is going to turn into, like the stuff you witnessed today uh, in, throughout Ukraine, let's say, in the future, what this thing is going to turn into. And so, Germans and Russians had a, if you want, a common goal, basically. They still have a common goal. This goal they always find in the same issues. Some people address this as imperialism, others in a Nazism, a fascism, um, whatever it might be. No side liked me. That's a fact. If that wouldn't be a fact, I would lose 33 years of my life. And I lost one on, just as I stated, you know, in a video which I posted today, on much more than if, in case that's not enough, if that wouldn't be enough, if that wouldn't be scary enough. Um, in this video, I have actually, this is not about somebody placing gun on my forehead or something like this. I, I have asked this in the video. If it would have been about what I stated right now, I would have that resolved. I would go and meet that person. Uh, I'd re report one to the police or terminate one myself or basically be killed in action. And I would develop really, really fast too. I wouldn't waste no time on something like this. Not only would I know exactly what to do, but uh, when it's a situation like this, you know, you have assistance from the law enforcement, you have stuff you can, you can take, you can consider. But in my situation, because the people that you see right there is goofy fucking around on his side, and it's exactly what this... garbage I have done with this provocation, because this is a provocation in which he first brainwashed upon each return from the Sao Paulo from Brazil. Uh, they would deliver me to Britain, they would deliver me to the Britain, uh, to, to Slovenia, they would fly to Slovenia, meet here with the Russians, with everybody, and when they assisted me upon asking me about who is this guy? Who is that guy? How about this one? How about that? Uh, everything was wrong, wrong, wrong. No, this one is from there. Why? Because these people had, that you see on the picture, they also had all kinds of different scenarios. Maybe they had a doppelgangers. I have no fucking idea. It's scary for me that a Briton that I demonstrated to you, that's a Prince Edward, by the way. It's a brother of Princess Anne. Charlie and Andrew knew all these people. They had a total database, a Nexus database. Oftentimes, um, I bet next to silicon masks, which they used even for the MK Ultra staff members in foreign countries. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Imagine you to be drugged up and find yourself in Poland or in Czech Republic or in Russia 
or in Spain or in Italy or or in Canada or United States to be challenged with the issue during which you are presented with somebody using a silicone mask for the MK Ultra staff members you have met in other countries. For things to get even worse, to intensify this stuff, Slovenian side having in combination with the Polish side, with the Czech side, with the Slovakian side, with the Russian side. Do you understand what I'm, do you hear me what I'm talking about right now? They found imitators. Uh, they did a face profiling. A face profile. You know what the face profiling is. They did a face profile and when you are drugged up, they bring the people, I'm not going to say doppelgangers, but people that a lot remind of certain politicians that was involved in MK Ultra, if not using a silicon mask. You have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. This is not a regular crime. This is not a regular crime. This is not a regular crime. You can use a silicone mask of somebody to meet that person. You can deliver. Every politician had involved probably had 10 people with similar facial features involved uh, in MK Ultra. It included Prince William, Prince Harry, uh, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, uh, the problem is it included my neighbor here, Andre Ull, it included here Colenz, Donna Colenz. The problem is it included the neighbor here, Miroslav Berger. The problem is it included, let's say, the neighbor here, Hanchic, let's say. What the fuck are you going to do now? with this kind of issues and you're stupid you're mentally retarded you're ill all the time this with people like Prince Edward with, with Charles and laughing in your face face derision in you humiliating you on every step of the way you cannot but do your best to never find yourself in a situation like this if you only can avoid issue like this as long as possible till you're actually cornered in a such a way and it was exactly done progressively you know my health is exactly a mirror of my ability to confront direct assaults on me for the length for the, pure, for the length of time. In other words, this started in 1990, in 1991. Uh, they played with the cancer. They, they, they did all this. They deteriorated health in, in every possible way, as much as possible, damaged their health as much as possible. Uh, but and challenged me all the time to go and do the stuff about MK Ultra. And the longer the years went by, you know, one decade, two decades passed, 20 years, 30 years, uh, th they told me that I have a less and less chance to make it through. And really it was this, like you would take uh, a clock that you would, like in the Roman times, you would switch around and you would have this dust going the opposite way to indicate how much time do you have left. But it was health-wise, because the longer the shit went on, the more my health became impacted till they would maintain me on a medications and on a frequent MK Ultra torture due to my not protecting myself sufficiently uh, to stay locked inside of the room. I never locked the room in my life, but this is the, this was done with a, such a degree of violence uh, and it was the only way to keep me unemployed confused in environment just like well it's all super it's like you go to the big brother house and you have the cameras all over and you have
people inside doing stuff to you that, that keeps you just totally disrupted. And it was like this throughout my entire life for so long. This case was extremely unlikely to come out. And now imagine that you find yourself in an in a issue. It's no longer about... It wasn't only what I stated physically, deterioration of health. Uh, but it was more and more and more people involved in it who is growing more and more higher and higher confidence with these people on how, uh, you know, with so many people that got involved in it, doppelgangers, people lookalikes, I should say, silicon mask use, posing next to police officer, being involved here, being involved, these people had nothing really to fear. And health-wise, they claim that, that my health is already so decimated that I'm so damaged, you know. So I don't know, if you want to go and play like a goofy fuck lap, basically like killing somebody, like Prince, uh, Prince Harry, you know, proudly boasts about how he killed 25 Talibans and stuff like this. She says, if I'm a Taliban, all right, so Taliban is every, who is the fuck Taliban? Taliban is every person, this is every human being is a Taliban. Every commoner, as they refer, as the Thai royals refer to the to the regular mortals, the regular people that are non-royals, they refer to them as the commoners. Every everyone then is a Taliban. We we are fucking Talibans, man. Too bad that world is built by the Talibans and everything, but uh, you know, um, obviously we need the lions to guide us. To demonstrate us on how it's done. Uh, the project itself was not run by the British, not run by the Germans, not run by Americans. Uh, and it's why Prince Edward casted his hope in. It's why I'm taking a full ownership of the video for which I suggested I don't want to be posted online. I do want want to be posted online. Um, entirely done by the British government, it was excellent job I did. I know so because next to international people whom I pointed out, it de facto Brazilian people did not lie to me. I know that for a fact. Even that Americans and British have used uh, certain issues they imitated. Even in the parks, the girl that you see in that video, I'm going to go over again, to disrupt, to disturb, to, to suggest people, they would also, these people would come here inside of our house from also from Brazil, but they also had people that they would use it either as a doppelgangers or also the people that they would use the silicon masks to convince me on a different scenarios in question me uh, you know they would have a habit when they would come here these people they would ask you if i remember them and so on and so forth and we would converse in the house and it was the stuff that also was used here in slovenia also that they used other people also to whom they would suggest me different information. And so uh, it's about 10 different scenarios for each of these individuals that played, whom I demonstrated on the video. It must have been fucking 100 different scenarios they have used. It's very difficult. It's not, it's nothing about what Rex Daniel, American psychologist that worked for the Craigslist, insists it's gonna be easy thing it's going to be easy to go and uh, you're just going to remember, you know, do you see this house? House being built. Okay, what's built? Okay, deck. Okay, okay, cool. Next house, what's what's new in the next house? Okay, a balcony. Okay, balcony. Yeah, okay, balcony. I go like this day after day, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And inside of your head, you create yourself a picture about the environment and the timing itself when this stuff was um, done and, and so on and so forth. And so this was also why they felt so encouraged and powered because I haven't done in 10 years, 20 years passed by, 25 years passed by, they, they, they were like 
already time in wise that I wouldn't know what the fuck I would talk about if I would go even they knew that I there, there is must be something that I know on a surface but they were sure that I had no capacity next to so many stuff they have done entered inside of the MK Ultra and because it dragged for so long that I would have capacity to actually timely set everything in sequence in a proper drawer like I did um, they had they were sure that, that they were asking me just man just do something that you can like that we just did or like two or three years or five years ago maximum you can do it maybe or something you know nobody dreamed about it I could go back to 33 years back and see crystally clear about the stuff that went on nobody nobody had idea that something is really possible you know so this was entirely product of Brazil uh, when it comes to international pe uh, people whom I have pointed out at the funeral of uh, Rita Lee in a flying saucer which was actually I think it's a planetarium the planetarium I think came to life again I think in 2000 I if I go through the Sao Paulo I could do more projects if I would want but for me right now preliminary is to uh, survive not stay alive but to survive meaning that I have to quickly wrap it up and get this done through the law enforcement you know, when it comes to the law enforcement, ladies and gentlemen, this is when and where the biggest problems I have is with the post that Prince Andrew have posted. You know, this is a product of Brazil, the video I posted, and I feel that British royals deeply feared this issue with Sao Paulo. This news was to be triggered. First I stated, if I'm going to say something stupid and so on, it was actually triggered in respect to this flying saucer, suggesting me that I am stupid, that I don't know what I am talking about and so on and so forth, to disturb me as much as possible. Uh, it's this man that was involved in some completely crazy stuff too uh, and it's not about law enforcement wise uh, listen how impossible this stuff these people that you see this is worse people than Russians I said British is a mirror of the Russian but they are fucking worse, far worse than Russians, because these are the people who handle United Nations through United States of America and other NATO, uh, previously European Union allies. This is the worst thing that can happen to you when you have to report anti-corruption unit, special police unit, police alone, a human rights ombudsman, imagine this shit. To whom? Well, to another anti-corruption unit and so on and so forth. Find the way to get to the city 70, 80 kilometers from where you are at to meet eventually face to face with the people because you have no car, because car was sold to you as a broken special because forced unemployment started in 1990 the main recipe for what they orchestrated was what people would regard as a holodomor this mainly was a holodomor that means no right to employment and when you have the right to employment that was the main platform no right to employment that employment was used, not to be used, but was used most heavily to cause as much harm as possible. That's when they would load you with overtime, and that's when you would disappear because you would work to death like a horse. You would be drowning without employment, from door to door dragging yourself, drowning in depression, or you would be spending 
working 20 24 hours straight pulling 16 hour shifts trying to make it up for whatever state declined you have the right to social assistance support during unemployment for employment which was rather to use to destroy you to accuse you of the stuff you did you had nothing to do with uh, misconduct at work and so on do you understand that in between this you're all disappearing back and forth around the world you, you get the point about what this shit is this is what this stuff is all about to obtain attention which this criminal did through this video here even if you don't want to see this garbage you will see the garbage because the garbage will pull something disgusting enough to have opportunity to communicate with Brazilian government and that's what this shit was this was the same shit like they did at United Nations at Amnesty and this is this is this is the this is you know what this is this is what Stalin the the start they accuse of Stalin of Holodomor of starving Ukrainian people to death but this is a Holodomor the British way that's exactly what this is. Hello? Do, 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 do. Hello? Yeah, this is British. Hello, is this on the other side Bra uh, Brazilian government? Yes. Okay, we have a this and this issue and so on. Well, we're going to cooperate in this shit. They did this stuff with everybody. They corrupted United Nations, Amnesty International, Human Rights Court in Strasbourg, Brussels, Parliament. They don't need to be there. They already have Germans in there. You know, I was going to take this video down, but this video is going to stay up there exactly to where it is. And I decided instead of obeying Prince Edward, Prince Andrew and Prince Charles to supplement one with more information. There is a high possibility that the man that you see on the right hand holding the book with the Rita Lee does not have a family in Thailand with a Thai lady. I still claim he does. If he doesn't, he just doesn't. I'm also going to make a statement that he is in the vicinity of the border with the Denmark. So this is to take the next uh, the video about the Sao Paulo, MK Ultra in Sao Paulo to the next level. I'm going to enter now more information and instead of this I will go ahead and I will suspend this video in which I have distanced myself uh, distance the MK Ultra proves about Brazil didn't want to have nothing to do with it because of this man here that you see who indicated that I'm stupid if I'm going to do something stupid it's just what I explained that was to obtain attention from me so the British could with Americans get in touch with Brazilian government in respect to this issue cause more troubles because this is all there ever was you know that's why I had to be stupid. And the second claim I'm going to make why this individual uh, have done this kind of stuff was to, well, let's go back here first. I am going to explain you in continuation. This is to upgrade the yesterday's video. And I'm going to say like this to you, let's go. Uh, it's going to be really short. And I'm going to put the pictures of what I state right now in respect to this. Um, the lady here that you see here. Her husband de facto is a university professor. And she also is a teacher. She was a teacher. Uh, he, the man that you see right there, the husband with degree I have written down, 
his uh, university is located somewhere near coast. There is water not too far. Whatever university that might be. And I did not even look at the map. It's all out of my memory. So you understand her husband is working at the university as a professor and I think actually is an engineer. And this uh, university is located somewhere along the waterway, some lake or coastal, whatever the case might be. That's how you get there, I remember. She, I think, pretty damn sure I am, probably was a teacher, just a teacher. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Um, mm. I don't know. Uh, grammar school, kindergarten, I have no idea what. Okay, that's what I'm going to end with that kind of stuff. I didn't pay attention, enough attention. If I pay enough attention, I can drill in that issue too, because these people are so nice involved in it. So, because of these Brazilian people I have spoken about yesterday, uh, I will take this video as legitimate assistance from Sao Paulo, from Brazil. Uh, for this girl here, I'm going to tell you that she has at least half brothers also. I stated the guy that two sisters. Uh, she also has like uh, another two brothers too. This is a big family. She has a big family from also on the father's side, whatever the issue might be. She has brothers and sisters and so on and so forth. This beautiful girl here who was involved just as I stated right there. So for me to say. Um, I am going to go ahead through this video here. I'm going to play this video here again. And uh, we'll see if I can enter some more information about it and give you some more platform on proofs about video I already have already submitted. That video is completely legitimate. I am standing behind one. There's people all involved in it. Uh, it doesn't mean I would not be able to pull the memories in them. I'm just taking out whatever is the most evident to me. Sometimes I have to talk to people and ask them, hear from them personally about some detail that played an important role in their life. Uh, and so for me, uh, I am just going to concentrate on everything I stated to you yesterday. I'm going to go a little bit further in details. Uh, some of the stuff which I have actually demonstrated on, a, on, a, on a pictures. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now. Uh, and do a try to do a little better job. Um, fortify my claims, basically. So we have this picture here, and I'm going to do it like this, and I'm going to go. I don't know about the international audience. I'm not too damn sure. These guys, um, how many times have I seen these guys? I don't even know. Um, there was a strong, strong presence in this from the Polish uh, and even Czech started to travel to Brazil. Um, Is a very, very difficult um, situation I am facing right now just by watching these two guys. Because the two, frankly, I am going to tell you, they look like uh, um, Czech, like Polish. And I told you about a multitude of people involved in this. Uh, for this one here, I am going to state to you straight uh, that he was bright enough to at least alert me about his size. He had a, a doppelganger. This is the guy for whom I have stated is from the United States of America. But he told me 
when taking me back to the United States of America uh, for something like this, not only he would come to Sao Paulo uh, to actually pay me respect, is what he stated, but to pay attention if the guy is going to be smaller. He said, do you see me? Do you see how tall I am? And so on. Okay, so if you see me like this, and not the other guy who's, whose face look very much like mine, then you know I am from the U.S. And I'm going to also hold one rose like this, just like this. So this is the man I'm positive. He's from the United States of America. As for these two guys, there is a big problem. These two guys I was presented also uh, were locals. Um, I'm afraid the guy that you see here with the long hair uh, was actually uh, from the area. That This is the man also that who is from the area and is actually Brazilian, not Polish. He would live typically uh, from this location here, from this um, uh, planetarium, zoo, whatever they have. Uh, as you enter inside, I didn't even look at the map. If you would, uh, I estimate, cross that bridge and so on and so forth, uh, I would say that he is from this location a native. Um, now, I would go as far as giving you that he would need about 20 minutes to get here. So this is man who is really, really close. What I want to say is this is next to the coast where building structures have completely changed. The people that would previously live like in a low uh, buildings, low uh, apartment buildings, like, like one floor, two floor, whatever, that stuff would disappear and there would be enormous construction that would start along the coastal line with replacing everything uh, that existed with with new buildings. Now, ladies and gentlemen, trust me, those who monitor my ISP, no, I did not go through a single picture of Sao Paulo. This is all out of my head. And it was exactly this man, I remember, where he lived. He lived in a... Uh, it was also like, I think maybe even one of the last buildings, old buildings in the area where he is from, like 20 minutes from there. It was also, I don't know, mom and so on that was in the picture. Um, it doesn't feel like in Brazil, it's like a lot of people divorce or something like this. Uh, that, uh, I have no idea that they, they, they where he is still in that building, but that's a that's a that's an apartment building, one story maybe, apartment building, older oldest, something like this, next to the really lot of new buildings, uh, high rises and so on, in that area. Okay, so this man, this is from a Brazilian guy. I suggested he's a Polish or Czech and so on. Very 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 uh, much of sense that it makes in during the beginning of this video. I'm going to retract this, using this video as a final, final, the way I feel, see things as most likely have tried to disturb me with a Polish, with a Czech, and so on and so forth. Uh, and this is his longtime friend that you see, also from the area, who, however, uh, would have about uh, one hour of uh, uh, time. Now, I stated to you I never was in Sao Paulo finger-wise. So this is a Sao Paulo. I don't fucking know. This is normal master here in Slovenia. Oh, okay, it's transferring me. Okay, that is cool. That is cool. All we need to do is now change this stuff to you. So, but before we do this, I just want to know location. That's all I want to know. Okay, we just want to know the location. First of all, it's called, uh, right, as you see right there, it's called the 
Ibapuera Park uh, Planetarium. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this, and this, and then this. And we're using Google, so we're good to go. And uh, just go to the location. I'm going to do the strictly aerial mode. Maybe uh, if I send something else, and then I am going to go ahead and uh, zoom into something else. First of all, this is not along the coast. Cool. Now you know. Now you understand that I'm working everything. I'm doing the stuff. I'm doing the stuff accordingly with the memory. So there is a Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Okay. Okay. Very cool. I prefer to do it this way so it can be as authentic as possible. Coast along the river, yes, there must be a big ass river. Oh, there is a coast. Uh, not to, um, okay, 10, 20, 30. Mm, it's going to be more problematic than what I thought. Uh, let's just get to this planetarium here. And let me see what uh, is in it here for me. Oh, there is a, a decent sized river here. I will probably would be a smart thing for me to go around a little bit through the streets before I start doing that kind of stuff. But I'm going to start doing this like this. Let's see where the entry is. And, uh, uh. <laughs> That is a trouble. Okay, now that it all depends, man, from which side do you come, right? From which side do you come? Well, you know, this is a bigger problem than what I thought it would be. But I had a feeling that, that um, and I think they did a good job, that we were always coming from this side here, which it says, Avenida Republica do, whatever that is. I think that this was always the way it was, for the most part. It, it actually, this is a real, real, real trouble. Uh, it would, to be exact, it would depend with whom I would get there. So this is a real, real, real problem. Yeah. No, this is, um, this for me is, um, uh, this has proven to be a little bit too big problem. Um, with the guys that you see right there, right now, uh, with the two of these guys, this is the area I would come from. But when it comes to the girl with the guitar, uh, with her, whenever I would come with her, it would be from the other side. So this is a really, 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 really trouble. And I know the facto that this man is a Brazilian because he was the one who alerted me. This one here, this very nice guy. This one has about one hour. And this one has about like 20 minutes uh, to get to this place. So he is like in an area. When it comes to the one with the long hair, I am going to little pause this thing and we'll tell you that as I pause this thing, I will go a little bit briefly through the streets of Sao Paulo just to get a brief an idea about what exactly do I see. You know? Just realizing um, the awkward situation I have found myself in just going through a really giant city here. Um, I came to realize next to a huge, huge interference. When I say interference, interferenza. Uh, thinking about Slovenian police here. Thinking about right here in this location here about the British royals. This is the area where they would stay, right here. It heavily reminded me already back in 
five when I was delivered to this location here of Miami Beach. I was on a 47th Street in the, in the opposite side of the channel. There was a fountain blue that looked very, very similar to this area here. And I was wondering, asking myself, when delivered here to Sao Paulo, what the fuck am I doing here? Why the fuck am I here? Why am I not in Miami fishing instead? Because this really, this this stuff really, really reminded me of Fontainebleau, and I really didn't want to be sleep deprived and tortured to death, basically. You know, guaranteed that I will be killed. Um, too many memories. Uh, too many issues to deal with. Giant city. Me without having a leisure, luxury of time to play with this stuff. I am going to excuse and zoom myself out of all this stuff here and roughly go on the map to what I think the gentleman with the long hair, therefore, whom I have indicated on this post. Um, actually, I'm going to have one right here. The, the gentleman with the long hair, I would say he is about in a very, very close proximity to uh, to this planetario, the Ibera Puera. <clears throat> and I would say that he only have to cross maybe right here from this avenue. So, uh, Gabriel, maybe something like this from this area here, from maybe even this hostel here, Melia Yardim Europa, whatever this is. So close this man is. There's a 500 meters that you see equals to probably about three centimeters. And so I would just go and say um, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And I would I would actually even go here and say, if I if I maybe even go here, let me see this stuff here. They're very, very close. That this here, uh, let me see. This is very, very much his neighborhood, but I am trying to understand. This is very, very much his neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm oh, just going to cut through here to this side here. And then I'm going to turn this way, go this street here, and uh, it could be well I am now in his neighborhood. He's very, very nearby. buildings here mm. um, if I had more time to play with this stuff but you know you see this stuff here that you see that's basically what his home used to look like something like this this probably would be his neighborhood at least so we're talking about this distance here I'm going to demonstrate for you I'm going to go back Talking about this gentleman here is about like 10, 15 minutes from this planetarium. And as I stated, he was so nice, really, that he told me you would come from exactly the site which I demonstrated you. Let's see where about at. Something like that. It doesn't matter, really. Um, Directional, so I just want to see time wise how much it would it take for me to get here. And this is, is what is this here, like this um, <clears throat> 23 minutes. Um, I must be something not okay here because of um, it, 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 it's his neighborhood, it, it's his neighborhood. I don't know what is it how about this stuff here and uh. Um, as a matter of fact, let me see what it takes to come through here, you know. Um, well, no, no, no. Uh, how about this stuff here? Yeah. 
Okay, that's that's something I'm gonna go and see this way, this way. I didn't even look what it looks like on the outside, but let me see this, two, three, this, this here, this, this, this. Yeah, okay. All right. More like something like this, you know, and it's 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 twenty-nine minutes. Um yeah. How about this? Yeah, 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 I get it. 27 minutes. Difficult to tell, but this here, this is very man from very near area. The, 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 actually, the first location I would go with. It would be rather something like this. Something like this, two kilometer. 15 minutes. 15 minutes for him to get to this location, whatever the case might be. This is a, such a giant city, ladies and gentlemen. It's huge. Whereas to the other guy, I have touched the subject, his good friend. Um, this guy, I think he works in a library even. He might be something like this, but I'm not sure. Um, Whereas to other guy, So I'm trying to understand something else here. Um, the other guy, I think he's got a high school. This this guy is working. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Both of these guys are Brazilians. They were involved since 1995. They're not Polish. They're not Czech. I told you, it's about like, but this guy here, about like, exactly if I was to cast the vote, I would go to exactly the neighborhood, at least to describe what his place more or less looks like, uh, would use. And uh, for this guy here, this, this individual, this is a little bit further away. This individual, I'm going to give you a time frame. Um, he's got a high school, I think, actually. So this man here, I think, also has a brother. Um, I would even say this guy here that you see right there. I'm not sure. Um, is an engineer, he's got a university, I would even say. And his mother maybe is a professor, maybe even something like this. I'm not gonna say, but that's what I think. Uh, and this man here is a high school guy, this guy here. He the man with the dark glasses that you see next to him. Okay, that would be like, I would categorize one like into high school. These are more like intellectual, I would say, people. Um, Maybe even more. Now, so they look like really, really simple, but it's not exactly like this. Um, I would give this one at least two years after uh, a high school, like an engineer or something like this, and I would give this guy here uh, exactly like high school, and I would give this guy a mother is a teacher also something like this and that he does have one brother uh, and for what this man is worth as far as the location wise the, the distance i would give this man about like 40 to 45 minutes of walk from this planetarium and this man would be therefore located uh, on the same side of the a planetarium okay so the end for this side of the entrance here yeah? also this side of the entrance I would go hmm. now let's try this again all right the internet is, is working well that's nice to see nice to know about that stuff okay gonna give it all right oh, this is also cool we can do it like this let me see that stuff here 
Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, for the man that I demonstrated you right now with the dog glasses. <clears throat> okay. That's a little bit tough on me. It says right there, 36 minutes to this distance here. Uh, and that's already one hour, man. It's like... So. A bit tough for me, this one. I am trying to make sure whether he is on the other side of the channel or not and see this distance here. Uh, see the distance here. Yeah, he must be along this channel, I think, on the other side. You know, um, I am going to cast to about this area here. It's actually shit, man. It's about one hour and a half. That's a trouble. Too damn bad. But this here would be my location for this guy in a dark with the darker glasses, you know? Uh, and let me see something else here too. And uh, three, two, right Okay, so that's one, two. Mm. And actually with uh, uh, something like maybe, eh, how about this here? As you can get through here also. Okay. Uh, no, but I don't want to go through there. I don't see the necessity for Google taking me through there. Uh, okay, so this will be like... Why is a Google insisting me on this stupidity? <laughs> yeah, uh, the first location that I demonstrated with Bobo exactly right. A little bit even further, maybe. I, actually, I, I'm gonna. I think. I think I'm doing okay. Is you go one block to and. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I think I already have mapped the man now in my head, where the guy is from. Yeah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is basically the way this stuff works. I'm going to go here, that's a, a planetarium, and uh, now we have this here. Uh, um, this man, um, this man is also from the high rise. Yeah, this the man that you see here with the black glasses. This is a high rise. Yeah, this is a high rise boy. Uh, and so you know, we go from here. We, we go through. Yeah, now uh, about here, this place here, City Buna. Buna, Bun, Butanta. Um, his mother has a degree. I'm already scared a little bit. His mother is very, very educated. You see, I, I am scared now. <clears throat> because I said that he's got a high school and shit. This man has a university completed. Rather than a high school. I don't think that he, he was a too much of a mama boy that he would be allowed to even think about a high school or something like this. So these guys both have universities. Let me see. So he does have a sister too. Now let's go back. This man here has a brother. This man here has a sister. They both have universities. From uh, both mothers are highly educated with universities. With this mom's here, probably she works at the library. With his mother, I would say, I have no idea what. Uh, and father too. Is it government? 
uh, accounting, whatever the hell might be. Um, this is quite a, a well-situated people. And uh, it's got to be like a, let me see something else here. I'm going to go a little back here. See this stuff here to see. Okay, this one here past the stadium. Oh, yes, I remember this stuff, in fact, this year. I would go and uh, pass myself exactly. So, you know, this rondo here, do you see this circle here? Let this be like just his area around here. Okay, and what is the name here? It's uh, 72 Praça Vicente Rodriguez. We're going to go this one here. What the hell do I see? Uh-huh. I already see some kind of uh, palace. Uh, and actually, here I was so many times. Uh, and it's easy uh, to spot this thing here. Uh, you see this here? That's what we want to get. I, I don't know how to get there. So let's see what we have here. This here, this is like he's from here, from this place, like a five minutes. He's from five minutes from here, from this place. City Butanta. You see, this is like a circle. So now if you would go to the planetarium, because I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to say to him, muito obrigado. This is Brasileiro. This is not the do, do Estados Unidos. This is Brazil, all right. This is no, this has nothing to do with anybody other than Brazil. This is Brazilian government project. Here, ladies and gentlemen, toward the, oh, let me see this stuff here. But this is a problem because I see all this housing and stuff like this, house, house, house. And the problem for me, it is because you know, I'm afraid the parents' house, they have a parents, it's a house, and that he moved into an uh, apartment. This is where the problem is. Um, the parents, his parents have a house. Yeah. Parents have a house. And I am trying to picture... Did he actually move to the apartment? I'm trying to picture that. So we know where he is, at what part of the Rio de Janeiro, uh, uh, Sao Paulo he is. He's from here. Giant, huh? And for you to do something like this, and I'm in Slovenia, another side of the world, that's not so damn bad. Um, actually, he is from the house, and he does have a brother. Not a sister. He does have. I'm certain. I'm positive. He's got. He also has a brother. Boom. And it's exactly the, the street that I demonstrated you, to which I refer to Alvarez Florence. Maybe I might be capable to actually point you out even his house. Let's go. It looks something like this. One of the houses like this. All right. So is this pretty damn good or not? So, boom, we go back, and that's my claim right there. He does have a brother. Um, maybe he does have even a sister. But he does have a brother, and they are from the house, and I gave you maybe even the correct street. And I think the street is Alvarez, Florence. Okay, and we're going to make this uh, like this. One is going to be like this. And then basically we're going to do one like this. And on this one here, we're going to down, put down here like this. 
Yeah, it was a lot of problems for him because uh, of the issues. Which rather suggested that something was wrong with me. Uh, he has a university, has a bad city. as a university, is well-educated. Um, has one brother or sister or both. That's how we're gonna do this stuff here. So we do wanna, these are the most involved two guys from Sao Paulo, maybe even. What a mistake I made with the first video. So this is gonna do a 100% boom, 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 impossible to actually decline, dispute, and so on and so forth because of what I did right now. Now we have another guy right there. And for this amigo muchacho, uh, I'm gonna say both of the parents, his parents has a, has a degree. Educated people, I would say. Um, we have another muchacho here. And uh, for this ombre, I'm going to, first I want to say thank you very much. But you know, for the guy that I stated to you, this guy is very pro-American with the black glasses. So, boo. Um, for the second ombre, uh, I am going to go ahead. Oh, this is so much better ah, because, yeah, this is easy now. It's better. It's easier. Okay, so you go. Let's see this here. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I am just going to go ahead and I'm just going to. I can't really go and lose my time on this stuff here. But that street I was a little earlier, and they probably look about this all the same. Uh, it was just like completely, completely perfect. Um, he is like from the residence like this. You know what I mean? Like something like this. Uh, maybe this is exactly the street, maybe. Or maybe I walked inside of the street or something like this. Yeah. You see the house right there, something like this? That's basically what this would get into the category. Yeah, we would call this here like uh, Primavera. The main thing to me is the area I demonstrate here. And well, that's exactly what I am gonna use as a proximity to enter information about him, basically. So this is nice, uh, you know, I'm actually gonna even thank Prince Edward uh, to anger me enough. Uh, for me to pay more attention to this stuff. No, he's not deserved, man. I, <laughs> I no, 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 no. Um, we're gonna go like this. Um, as for this man here, uh, man, United States of America is big. It would be nice if he would at least, and he did. I know he did. Um, the man with the flower, what we're going to do with him is, we're just going to, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to present it to you, a perfect alien, uh, a man who landed from another planet, uh, and, uh, is actually the people that see him and they're not aware uh, that there is a man from another planet that is among them. Okay, somewhere from United States of America. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this guy here, USA, like this here. Very nice guy. 
Um, these guys, I think, still are single, I think. Or may, they might have not wanted to uh, mingle, in my case, their spouses. But that's what I had a feeling, yeah. But, okay, uh, gringo from Estados Unidos, we're going to say, we're going to go out like this, and uh, I am going to do something like this. We're going to do... <clears throat> we're going to do for this crowd here. So, I think that this is very, very nice. I just like this, like this, this here, this stuff here, this, this, I like it very much. I know he's got a room upstairs. So, let's see what else do we have in this video. Okay, everything is moving so quickly with this camera. So I'm going to call this a part number two. For a garimpo. Involved. Both. All these people involved. The journalists, as you see right there. This is something I have spoken about already in part one. But I'm going to do a few of this. And I'm going to do them really good well. Like I did two, two of these guys. And then I have to move on into the next issue. Because I have a lot of other stuff to do.
Rita Lee <clears throat> How did, did you see right there the man this individual here that is always was working always not but he got a job uh, we gotta take this too and I hope I see right there a third individual that is also interesting to me you know, put this like a number two why not timing yeah uh, Prince Edward was heavily involved in this stuff just basically insisting me that he just bullied basically this is just what you regard as a bullshit guy uh, with a shit underlined uh, if you will be doing what I am doing right now you should be knowing everybody and this, this is such a smart guy you have no idea ladies and gentlemen how smart this guy is but you know when they put the psychiatric gag on your face and this gag extends all the way to United Nations forget about Amnesty International that's nothing it doesn't even exist really it's a private Canadian company a royal company too but European Court for Human Rights European Parliament in Brussels Washington DC White House and at this people that are pushing forward psychiatry against you that all these institutions that are using you for their own projects to earn money straight also for those projects through the torture they do on you from the mentioned people it becomes a totally totally question on where could you possibly complain to so a little fucklet is how I regard Prince Edward is to insist something like this uh, this is like a du jour like like uh, baroque of bullshit basically on a human being especially when consider other stuff that i stated he shouldn't be anywhere in the picture you know i got nothing really to be thankful to him and to his brothers and to his sister really this man here worked in the parks since so like 1998 something like this it's like 2000 uh, a city employee this man here he took care of public streets and stuff like this uh, like a street cleaner that kind of stuff a local guy uh, in, in basically predominantly like white area it's quite white here when you see this to me it sounds like quite white city I would say but with this guy here in the picture he was like um, I have no idea what his background is um, I'm talking about people that you see they're of a lighter complexion than what he is with his wife interesting uh, I, I'm not sure she's white I think actually the wife you know from this guy like uh, quite white she is actually that's how it is at his home and um, 
she does have a I have no idea a child or two she does have like a child or two at home this man here where does he live <sighs> this is one of those old housings uh, I don't think he got opportunity to ever move into a new improved uh, building or something like this like many or most of these people did that were involved in MK Ultra. eventually they did trade it these are old Sao Paulo people uh, I should say old residents uh, like natives like uh, indigenous Sao Paulo people they're not they did not move from other cities or uh, you know like wealthy people or something that would be changing apartment buildings or something like this and so on and so forth this is this is these are a Sao Paulo's people that I go after today just as the case is also with this lady here that you see uh, this was uh, I think like a sales lady in some shop I would say even. yeah this one here yeah, so I am gonna take it something today in account that I did not in the first video but I concentrated more on international people with few exceptions locals um, I want the people from locals more to be on the picture and I want to really drill into the issues I did not uh, spoke in a part number one enough I feel so uh, this here was a sales lady I'm gonna do this one here yeah married of course married with the children too I know that and uh, uh, work in, uh, in city uh, worked for city you know city employee I should say uh, city employee okay city employee uh, taking here uh, streets uh, cleaning let's say something like this we're gonna do that stuff now okay, like this I'm gonna do this stuff like this yes and uh, I'm gonna use this one here uh, also I'm gonna marry it with kids oh yes grown daughters um husband um same complexion as she is same thing i think uh maybe even of a little less light complexion i would say with a husband she does have a daughter's with a husband, uh, she does have a daughter, maybe even two. She does have a daughter. Husband of less light complexion than she is. Listen, I didn't look for the complexion. I was looking for, you know, those other parts on the ladies. Um, I, I really apologize. I was into this lady, actually. And my ass got whipped because of that, too. So, uh, anyhow, uh, the man here, wife lighter complexion um, even considered as blonde in a, in in with a background and an area where he is I would even say that she would be the wife his wife would even be considered as a blonde that's why I want this issue to be pushed also forward that's that's how we're gonna do this stuff we're gonna do it like this this and we're gonna do it we're gonna do it like this and so um okay uh, he does have a children he does have a children um 
I felt he kind of um, started late, you know, where, where the lady started earlier with the kids and this guy. I think, I don't know about his children and stuff like this, you know. I, I, he's got a child or two grown-ups. They, Of course, these people have grown-up children. All right, we have another individual whom I have even suspected is a Russian. Um, it could be that this man is a Russian, um, is a Russian who saw a little bit through this case uh, with um, his spouse. It was several Russians who did. Uh, for this one here, uh, it's a little bit difficult because one family moved to Brazil. I, I think it was Sao Paulo. And then it was the second one. One moved very early on, like in 98. And then there was a second one that would not go as early as like 2004 or something like this. Could be Russian guy. Um... Uh, could be a Russian guy. Um, this is not a Russian guy. There were Russian guys, but this is... No, this is a native too. This guy is a native. This guy is also a native. This guy? Yes. Uh, this is another Brasileiro. I also will tell you this man also is a Brazilian guy. Nice, I got it. Uh, because of his light complexion, he was a Nazi, he's a Nazi and shit like this. Uh, he's no Nazi. Uh, this guy here, um, he... Um, with his wife... They do have a wife. His wife protested against this. Did not want to be absolutely anywhere in a picture. It was a fucking war. He might have actually three children. This alien here might actually have a... God bless you, sir. Thank you for coming by. Does probably have three children. Two children. Between two and three children. Uh, I also remember his mom and stuff like this. What else can I tell you? Oh man, I got to change this stuff here. There's no Russian. And we're going to write down here is Brazilian native. Is Brazilian native. Uh, as wife to kids. Um, involved since 1995, all these people, everyone you see here. Uh, wife would not want to be on a picture anymore because this took, for the worst turn, uh, Slovenian police walked a little into the streets of Sao Paulo with a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, Russians came, uh, all kinds of stuff started to bullshit over there. They started the civil war through my case in Brazil to push their issues forward. So what I'm going to say to um, this man here, um, has wife and two kids, yeah? And I would say uh, maybe even three kids. Take a note of this. Uh, do think that very difficult for me to tell because they have on a parents both parents they are they have houses uh, on the wife's side I think they're more wealthy 
the wife, I think it's from the wife, from the parents, from the wife, parents side, they're more wealthy. Um, that's how it is. And he would be like from the poor family, this guy, mom. He only had mom, basically. Do you understand? On his side, not wealthy man. Mother, single mother, maybe even. Okay. Probably single mother. We're going to do it like this. We're going to change this stuff into this stuff here. That's why. That's how we're going to do this here. From his side, therefore, probably uh, a single mother, you know, uh, and uh, we're going to put like this, well, here, from the wife is side, wealthier from the wife is side. Okay, wealthier from the wife's side. Yeah, you're gonna do it like this. This guy, I don't know. Maybe even a taxi driver, a cab driver. I do not know. You understand? I don't know. Uh, very, very uh, 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 memories uh, when I try to recall uh, the man uh, I would, uh, yeah, I have a trouble really. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. So basically now, this is retaliation. I can consider this as a proper, proper retaliation on Edward and uh, his family. And this knowledge is totally video that Brazilian government secured for me. Wealthier from wife's side. Um, he does have two or three children. And they did move from probably maybe even apartment building or something like this into the house of uh, the parents from mother. And that's a quite a big house. So do you understand? I'm giving you like a really, really, really powerful breakdown of the people. Let's go to the next issue. When did they move to, to, the, to the house of the wife's uh, parents? Probably like in, I estimate like in, in 2010, 2012, you know, but before that with the wife and with the kids, they were like in apartment building, uh, something like this. And I think they, they brought over also mom, his mom that was still alive. We got to consider this as a picture number two. Do you want to replace this indeed? And let's see what else we can learn about this. I'm going to use a toilet briefly. Uh, by the way, this news involved in MK Ultra, a royal fan held for 13 hours after coronation mix-up. Um, British royals wanted to develop a conspiracy theories against the British police. I don't know. 
if anybody possibly ever satisfied anybody with a special assistance which British police had paid to the British royals. They went extra far to assist them in absolutely, well, when considered the crime against me, genocide against me, how could have possibly done a better job than that? Now they commenced some kind of conspiracy theory which they pushed inside of me during MK Ultra to actually see British police is the one who dismantled them from giving me the assistance. And I am sure that they will have a police officers corrupt enough to testify against the British police. Fuck that. Police is okay. The problem came from the top. Not from the police, not from the police officers, not from the police force whatsoever. I'm not going to say they're doing their job. They're not. They failed. Uh, but they will also fail in convincing me on how they dismantled British royals from pursuing to assist me. As I stated, this shit started long, long ago at the table with the Russians in Moscow. Before I have even seen greater than Great Britain. This news also was involved in MK Ultra. This website has been seized, Operation Cookie Monster. But it's actually FBI who stated me they are not going to take my website down. They, however, would not mind to see complainees against me. Let's continue with you know what you see here. I will insist on what I stated a little earlier, that stuff will stay in Inspector Gentleman you see right there with the black glasses right in the middle holding that booklet in his hands. I ain't got nothing else to say about that. Oh, okay, and then I did not touch that subject yet. We shall stop again at the location, which is something I already have discussed, and when that pops up. <clears throat> Everybody here you see was involved in it. I'm just taking the most, the easiest one as possible. Especially the logos are interesting to me. Um, this um, lady that you see right here that is doing a little dance and then the next to her is another lady right there that's also doing the dance next to her. These are all long time friends, these two. <clears throat> they were always in the same crowd, always together. I don't know. To me, it all smells like librarians, but it's a <clears throat> gutsy claim I have made. These uh, this ladies, I think, do have universities. Um, the one that you see right there in the middle, 
does have a university degree uh, and the one on the left semi blondie uh, with the fingers pointing out up uh, local Brasileira also is also with a degree I think these two ladies work in a library something like this for the government the two work <clears throat> I would rate it the duo the two actually this duo right there as you see as a government workers it's something like this that they work like what you say like a, <clears throat> even co-workers I don't know because I always seen them next to one another I don't know if I could go that far I am trying to measure this stuff uh, and uh, Oh, this is a very, very different issue again. The two are really, really involved in it. I'm just going to state that both of these have a university degree. The first one that got the university degree is the one on the... I'm going to take a screenshot of this stuff here. I like this. I'm looking at the man that is showing me his back because this always were the people that were together. <clears throat> See, the problem is that men are never so interesting to me. It's not about his uh, showing a back to me, uh, to the camera, but <clears throat> I really uh, paid attention more to the ladies than to anybody else uh, this here this one here this one here we're gonna do it uh, I am gonna take on this man here we're gonna take on this man here showing the back to me and uh, we're gonna take on the, also on this lady here too you know we're gonna go like this we're going to stress this stuff real fast. As, um, as a Tony Bear, has a university degree and works. When the lady was good looking, um, <laughs> I was interested in other issues than university degrees and, uh, and uh, I better be quiet. But this one here, okay, she does have a university degree, all right? She does have it. This was the 1995, I think, involved already. 1995, this one. She does has a university degree. She, um, <clears throat> she is married. Um, that was such a pain in the butt. She must be working. She must be working, I remember, in a government. This lady works in a government, and I remember some kind of facility. Uh, whatever. There was also other female co-workers, but this is a government facility. What kind of facility the hell is that thing? It's like a firm. Uh, well, she was inside in there, and there was some other ladies. like a school, man. That's like a school teacher. Probably a teacher or even a librarian. All right, that's it. Boom. This one here, um, got degree. 
way earlier than girl in the middle. In that black shirt, the girl that you see, that girl also has a degree. <clears throat> but this one here got her degree before the other one. So these two are actually, I would even say, work in the same institution, whatever that is, also has a degree. Okay? But I'll do uh, it works probably as a libra 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 librarian. I'm going to do it like this. Also, government sector, wherever that might be. She had a problem, actually. Uh, excuse me. She was trying to be something like this, and uh, that she knows this lady, and it was some kind of a problem, uh, and then she had to settle for something else. What I believe is actually then a librarian. So the lady on the left, the white lady that you see right there, the blonde is semi blonde lady that's like a teacher, something like this. Okay? Um... She wanted to be teacher, but set up for probably like bra libra and shop. Uh, this lady here in the black that you see complained to me that they had very, very high standards uh, for the teachers, that they gave her like a hard time. I mean, that they didn't give her a hard time. She didn't complain to me. I mean, I shouldn't say that. But that it was like that they are like going like, a, like for the top people that you have to, I don't know, performance, whatever, that, so that you can get, so you can settle for something like that. Yeah, for the teacher. And this lady here, this university degree lady here, oh, that is, uh, uh, this is actually, what the hell am I talking about? A teacher, librarian and stuff like this. Uh, this is a, actually a professor who probably already works maybe even inside of the administration. Probably, probably promoted into uh, assistant, assistant, uh, uh, school director or something like this. You know what I mean? Because why do I know this? Because she was trying to assist the lady in black right there that you see in the middle that she is. The two are friends. And so she couldn't, but so she did found her probably a job as a, uh, like, you know, in a sense, like a, like a still good, very good job, like a, uh, like a librarian, I would say. So that's how we're going to do this stuff here. Boom. Okay. Um, yeah, I remember the co-worker, uh, the director, and so on. Uh, and this man here the sh that is showing me the back, how the hell do I know? Because with the memory, I go in time and see these people, how they associate at free time also together. They had me around. And this man here always claimed that he could help me, but you didn't allow me to help me. Uh, you don't allow me to help you, and so on and so forth. Okay, this dude is not a Busta Rhymes. Uh, he is some kind of a freelancer. Freelancer with also university degree, I would say. 
Uh, he's educated, educated, but works in a private sector, uh, like some kind of uh, camera guy. He always had like a camera with him. Always had some kind of camera and stuff like this. Camera uh, artist. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you could see him uh, a TV montage or something. Uh, you could always see him in in this public stuff that he would play like that kind. Of, I had always had an idea that he's some kind of a not I'm going to say movie producer or something like this, but a cameraman, something like this, artist, whatever. Always was around the artists. Okay, so that's all I know about this guy here. He does have a degree. I think he does have a degree. And he always had this long hair that you see right there. Yeah. This is a mixed guy. It's like the lady that you see right there is right in the middle. And these three were always good friends with one another. So we're going to take this one here because there is true is other stuff I have to do. So this is this is uh, I think that stuff I'm doing here, and let's see what else here. Ah, I see the troublemaker right there. A teacher, a teacher is waving her hands right there. Look at her; she is making her business. I am a little bit afraid right now with this stuff here. Now I am a little bit scared here. Oh, this is a little bit scary. Let me see something. This lady too here is also dangerous stuff. Oh, this is very, very dangerous. Let me see something else. Oh, I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Um, this is not so old. This is a younger one that was involved in it. So I'm going to have to fix that stuff, probably. Let me see this again. This is much younger. I thought this is a little older, but it's not. Come on, is it going to... Uh, this, is, this, this does have a university degree, that is correct. Um... It does have a university degree. I probably am going to have to fix some stuff in respect to because of this. This is a troublemaker. The two ladies here, the black one and this one here, as you see. That's a trouble. That's a real trouble. These two are at the school. I think this, this is what the problem is. Um, I am going to have to adjust myself with this kind of issues just a little bit. I did make a mistake. See, I'm mistaken her. She's not that old, that one. Uh, and what I am going to do is I'm going to upgrade this stuff. This is a mistake I have made. Um, this babe here that you see, this blondie, is... is um, We're going to fix this real fast. We're going to fix this stuff like this, like this. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, when you want to edit something and you don't want other part. Uh, to be lost, whatever, and then uh, the only thing you do is uh, basically something like this. Mm. 
Yeah, there you go. We attach the finger back like this. Take, 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 take the glasses out and also place this. Uh, somewhat like this. And uh, that would just do the job. Well, this is something else. They lost a little clarity, but still do the job. Like this. Stays in the place. Um, so we'll stay on the in, in a place. And the only thing I am going to do is I am going to expand this like that. Um, these two babes of friends, the blondie and the other one, sure, but there is somebody else in the picture. This one here, there is another couple here that is interesting that just got my attention. <clears throat> That's a black lady that you see and the blonde lady that you see. These two are friends too. And so I am going to attach this here. They are all friends. That's where the problem is. And um, everything of what I stated <coughs> applied um, to this lady here in respect to this lady here is actually this one right here that was the one. This is the one that works at the school and became also assistant of the principal. And this is also her co-work her co hard. No, she works at the school also. I don't know what she's doing there. This is some kind of university or something like this. She, over the course of the time, became assistant of the school director, this one here. So I am going to write down here, Professor. Professor at school uh, became assistant school director um, possibly a prairie actually uh, now works in the administration <clears throat> she eventually got I think or she worked at the school in administration I don't know you're going to see this is what it is uh, as assistant Uh, of director uh, uh, always worked in administration. Actually, she could be accounted or something, even something. Account, even, I would say. This one, yeah? And uh, you have this lady here, uh, this one here, uh, I think also works. I think, I think works at the same place. Um, and that's basically the only thing I'm going to say. Boom, I'm going to stop with this stuff here. And uh, this is much younger, this one here. This is much, much younger, this babe here. Both of them are much, much, much younger. I really made a mistake because all these people are on the same picture. That's a trouble. The man that you see here that's showing me a back is older guy. This is older guy. This one I remember was in the picture already way before. 
this is some kind of a freelancer that work in the field of art, something like this. I don't know, cameraman, artist, TV montage, whatever it is, this guy. I always had a feeling that, that that's the kind of stuff. He always said that he could easily help me out, save me, whatever. But I, don't, I didn't know what he was talking about. I never got straight. I never figured out. He was inside all these people visit normal me. So never figured out what kind of stuff. But for me, the best to describe is like some kind of freelancer. Uh, probably does have a degree. And... Uh, but probably works like in a private sector, I would say. Something like this. This babe here, did you see? Um, this here is with university degree. He's got a university degree. Um, As for the job, not so easy for her. It was not so damn easy for her. Uh, it was hard uh, for her at field of uh, work. Uh, I shouldn't write. I shouldn't say this, but it was difficult. She had a difficulty to get the job. It was. It was difficult. It was for these young people anyway. Also for this one here, it was difficult. They had to hassle a lot. I would say probably also a teacher. Okay, that's all I can do. If placing all this stuff uh, making sense out of one, all right. I don't know. Maybe grammar school or something like that. A different story here. Uh, probably, probably like grammar school and we are talking about her here something like this like a lot of competition probably or something like this not so easy these days it nowhere is really and so i'll go like this i'm gonna say like this yeah so this is what i am leaving you with absolutely everything i stated and it was exactly the lady that I demonstrated to you. Uh, you know, these people met through this case and they, they helped one another. Yeah. And so this was the lady. They asked uh, for employment wise what would be like a way to get into the company and uh, actually to the school, to the public job and so on. This one here, this assisted this was a quite an advisor to these younger people this one here a completed university degree uh probably about the same time as the other one that you see right there that is standing in the middle we're gonna make like a little separator here we're gonna do it like this we're gonna separate this um and so these two are good friends, and they probably completed their university degrees at about the same time. And if I would go to time, the completion of their university degrees, I would probably throw myself into um, like year 2008, something like this. You're talking about like 2008, it was like something like this, that, that you know, 2008. 2008. <clears throat> um, this here, this one helped a lot of people get job. I hope I am about the right person because it was a lady like this, except like this is still looks young too. Uh, but I hope I'm not mistaken. And I don't think I am. I think she's about the same age as, as this lady right here, this black lady that you see right there. And you got these guys here, and this, I believe, are not Brazilians. 
Uh, and it actually looks like almost the same age, but I think this is a father and daughter. And they are either from Holland, I was told, or Britain. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, I'm going to write down here. Adjust. Just perhaps father and daughter from either Holland or UK. Yeah, it's a problem when people, these people already work together, the video that you are being watching with me was already placed to me in front of the computer also by the Slovenian side. Here inside of this residence, not on one occasion, but many. That's basically what happens is when they, the people video record themselves and this gets into the wrong hands and then it's all kinds of fuck up that comes out of it. That's a trouble. Okay, uh, maybe either from Holland or UK is basically what I was told. Uh, father and daughter. Let's see this stuff here. Let's see this one up closer. Yeah, this this lady here, the that for whom I uh, that she's accounted, she was in accounting, some of this. I'm thinking about it could be even a private company. Actually, I'm not like actually sure. That's accounting department. That's not school actually. And I think it's a it's a. Perhaps even private company. I would say this is even private company accounting. This is accountant right here. Yeah, it's difficult. It's a difficult stuff, and I'm not going to go and do it again because I got other stuff to do. But can you imagine the stuff I'm doing right now from quite a far away? Uh, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to scratch this stuff. She is assistant. Yeah, she is assistant. I'm not going to touch that. Became assistant. From director, we're going to take that off. Works in administration as assistant of director, always worked in administration. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Boom. Uh, we're going to do it like this. Um, and this here is a cleaning lady, I think. She's a cleaning lady, this one. I think it works in the same place, but I'm not sure. This is uh, a teacher, grammar school. And this here, as a degree, works probably as a librarian. Nice. I cast this as a gain. Has a university degree, and that's what most likely the case is. Very important for me to accent. Wanted to be a teacher. Wanted to be a teacher.
and I think it was whatever it was that it was it was that they 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 look for whatever in people qualifications whatever okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do this one here we're gonna do this one and I'm gonna look into this and evaluate a little bit more this stuff to see it let's go back Yes, yes, this is okay. The way I did this stuff, this is very good. It's okay. <clears throat> um, I, I, um, I couldn't have done a better job yesterday than what I did. Uh, already uh, pointing out to other locals. Um, hmm, it's going to be this one here. And you're going to do it like this. And it's going to be this one here. We're going to do this. These are two other locals. This one, this man, um, <clears throat> let's see this stuff here. This, he's got a quite a right to get here to this place. This is Panazzo. How oh, this is boy. This is big city. I don't know how many people are there in Sao Paulo. That's a lot. Oh man. Um, yeah. In respect to those two guys, I don't have anything else I would say. Uh, that really is uh, it's a, it's a, it's not it's not too easy it's a tough right um, <sighs> um If um, if I was to rate these two guys, these are old, old, uh, again, Brazil settlers uh, from Sao Paulo, not Brazil, that's crazy. Um, and I would, I'll probably be, be wrong about this, that's why I'm not going to say as for the location, where the two would be located in this great City, I am not going to get into this stuff. Um, let me see this stuff here real fast. It's very not easy stuff. It's very, very not easy stuff. But if I was to cast, you know, for these two guys on where they are coming from, um, just one more shot that I get an idea. Let's see this. Okay. So this is what this is what it is, right? Okay, there we are. At. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Yeah. 
the first one I'm going to take on is going to be actually this one here that you see. That's the first one I'm going to take on. For him to get here to the planetarium, thanks to him also, I want to say thank you, man. Um, it would be also something like as if you would consider this to be a, like a northern side. Uh, it would be something like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. You see this river here? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, this here, and uh, it would be like something like, like, man, and this is like not, not, not so very close. All right. I am just going to give you like a proximity shot, which would go like Villa Maria, something like this. And it would not be even Villa Maria, it would be like just something like, <clears throat> let me see what the distance is. So you're talking about, you're talking about 500 meters, you're talking about one kilometer, yeah? You're talking about one kilometer, so this is a one canal, we have to go across. Uh, and we continue, we continue, we continue, let me see some, some, some other stuff if there is. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I will go here to this area, like Villa Maria. This here, Villa, Villa Maria Alta. And let me see how far the hell this is now. Two hours and 51 minutes, I'd, I buy this. I buy this. I take it. I take this. I take it. Uh, I'm buying this one here. Let me see this. All right, so this is like another part of the city, actually, right? When you consider that. Yeah. I have a feeling that the black lady uh, also is from this area, part of the city. Yeah. So we're gonna do this. Other than that, I'm quite pleased right now. Okay. And we're gonna do this. And uh, I am gonna do something like this. Okay. Because I am, of course, I'm not going to go for everybody. And I'm going to pop this thing here like this. And I'm going to pop this stuff here like this. Oops. For this lady here too. And uh, I'm going to pop this stuff here for this man too. And we'll say that this three are more or less coming from uh, this same area right there. That's how I am going to do that stuff. <laughs> am I correct about everything? No, I'm sure that I make some mistakes in it. Uh, but overall, these were the most, I think, like empty ultra locations. Uh, let's zoom out here. And we're going to go here. That's what uh, I am, if there's like anything else here, 
told me to do uh it is actually um shit um okay uh i am just gonna do this here this uh, uh the black lady could also work inside of the hospital could also work in the hospital uh located in Villa Maria Alta the black lady that you see right there for whom I say that she works at the school no 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 I think she works at the hospital at this hospital uh, via Villa Maria Alta this lady here that you see and what we're gonna do is this that yeah I'm gonna do it like this for the black lady Hura that's it um Man has like a high school uh, technician. That's a H. I think he's a technician. This man, some kind of technician. Uh, he's married. Uh, married with kids. married with kids um and then we have this guy here i frankly do not know um this guy is either technician or an engineer i don't know either it's mission or engineer i'm trying to figure out pilot technician or engineer i don't know i really do not know As for this guy here that you see, and this guy, contrary to the man for whom I have indicated, is from Via Maria Alta, with together with the black lady, also from Via Maria Alta area. Uh, it could be that the black lady is actually from Guarulhos area but that she works at the hospital nipo brasileiro let me let me uh, just do this stuff here yeah Possibly is even from a uh, possibly is even from what I suggest this is Gua Guarulhos area, like this area here, Guarulhos. Guarulhos. 
Yeah. We're gonna do it like this. They have a house. The black lady is married. Children, husband, a house, married with black husband uh, and with children and grand children grown up already. So I think this, I did a very good job. Boom, boom, boom. Very, very nice. Thank you, very, very nice. Thank you very much to this black lady here, her husband. Uh, I sure would not believe how handy this would eventually even come to me in identifying Sao Paulo. So this, this is, this is, um, what is this now? Hey. Oh, nothing. Okay. All right, so this is good enough. You can see that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, the black lady I mentioned earlier also in the picture is from likely Guarulhos. You know, and that would actually be even like, uh, like something like not like this here, like in this area here, like something like this. Like something like this, you know. Villa Galvao, maybe area, something like this. Villa Galvao. Like something like this, I would say. Yeah, but I did this stuff, all right? I did this stuff for her. I, I, I indicated very well this stuff, yeah? Yeah, well, you know what? We can do, fuck this, we can do this better. Hold on. Uh, let's see, let, uh, let's play with this stuff a little bit more. Let's see if I can find her doorbell. <laughs> no. Um, but um, what I was going to say, Villa Galvao, Lago de Pachos. Hey, you know, I, 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 I have to finish this stuff because there is so other stuff I have to do. Um, you will forgive me for this. I am just going to pin this into, uh, like, you know, like, 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 uh, uh, let's just make a shot here into this here, whatever this heel is like this and see what, what's, what's going to throw me, what address I'm going to get here. Super Margado at Bergamini. Supermercado Bergamini, something like this. I tell you what, I am going to go ahead and shoot this like this. What is this here? Uh, four, because it's so specific, I'm going to go for TV Barrera de San Miguel. Boom. You know, that's what I am going to do. Uh, and um, I am going to go ahead and I am going to take this. We got to do it like this, like this, like this. And we're going to make a rectangle. We're going to cut the rectangle out of this one here. I'm going to take this out like this. We'll turn this blue. And I am going to pop this as edges here like this. Boom. Boom. We're going to pop this into like number 20. And we're going to do it like this. What do you think about this? I think the black lady did excellent. And I am going to acknowledge this as a, a number four. And thank her and her husband for this one. Do we have that's a one, two, three, one, two, three. That stuff is going to stay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we're going to acknowledge this here as a number, number four. Boom. Boom. 
this is going to be number four. No, I don't like uh, the idea that uh, even FBI is playing through my website. Uh, as a matter of fact, that they are delaying the genocide against me uh, that took already 33 years of my life. Do you, do, you, do you folks understand that I don't even see myself in this bullshit? That I want to have nothing to do with it? You don't understand any of this, do you? This is going to look like a rape atop of the rape for 33 years that went on. Just so that you could provide about your corruption, about your criminal might. Talking about the London. So they can demonstrate to the world the capacity to rape, basically, what they can do to the human being. I don't see myself in this shit. They talk about this, I'm going to look great and big and this and that. Fuck you. You don't understand anything. How good is this going to do to me? Good is going to do to me what? What good is it going to do to me? What good is this shit going to do to me? This shit is not going to do any good to me. If I knew... Today is going to come. I would as well as mine what British ins incited me alone in Miami, basically, to commit a suicide. In year 2000, I would be free of what you see here. 23 years already. Germans incited me in 98 and in 99. 24, 25 years, I would already be free. I didn't know this is so bad. So what I'm doing here right now, I'm building immortal statue to the rapists, to the murderers of this world, to the Saxe Coburg Gotha, Windsors, to the people that chopped hands, to the natives of the Congo, to the people who slaughtered half of the African continent so they could get their minerals, their wealth in Asia and South America across the world because they need it. I'm looking at a guy here, this is a Pink Floyd. And I'm going to do this stuff again. Please pardon me. No, this is bullshit. These are not uh, people from Britain. No, are these people from Holland, this Pink Floyd? Uh, there is just one more thing that I, these are local people from here, from Sao Paulo. Oh boy, they screwed me up, man. Oh, they brainwashed me severely. Let uh, me finish uh, also for this man here, right on the right side, for whom I stated he is married with the kids. Uh, that he is like a high school, like a technician. Uh, this is like very much involved in a community guy, this man here. Uh, and what I want to say to you is that um, it's exactly what I stated. He does have like, a, he's like a technician, something like this. He's married. Um... We talk about the marriage, it goes like to 2008 or something. Those kids are already probably 15 years old. Um, what I want to say to you about this man, however, is that there was another part of this uh, sub power that was involved in this. Okay. 
uh, let's go back here to to the uh, is this a place uh, here is uh, what no it's, okay Brooklyn okay okay Okay, you know, uh, for this man, I, I just, I don't know. I, when it comes to this man, I would just, I'm gonna make a wild guess uh, that he, however, is somewhere from. I probably shouldn't even say anything, you know. I would say it's like a halfway uh, from uh, what I down, what I indicated is. Uh, oh, let me see. Uh, okay, I hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, I I tell you what, uh, yeah, I probably will be wrong about him, yeah. Uh, I probably will be wrong about this man, uh, but I am gonna cast for him. Is this here, Parque Iberapuera? I am gonna go into the area of Alto da Muca. Uh, I am gonna go into. Uh, something like uh, something like this here. Let me see. And to um, let me see. Uh, I am gonna go here somewhere like Cambuchi, Cambuchi, Sao Paulo. That's what I want to do. Uh, I, I am just doing this according to the memory. Basically, uh, this one here I am going to shot. This here, Kam, Kambuchi. Uh, yeah. And so, what is this here? Let's see this here. And uh, there is a hospital Azul uh, here in this area, in this, in this area of the Sao Paulo. These are deliberately, uh, I have given uh, different uh, uh, locations. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, maybe that i can i can hit closer to this stuff because there is a uh, there is a uh, ibirapuera ibirapuera da, 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 da. and let me see something and uh, this and then you have mm, uh, okay 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 so, muka. i don't know what is the muka eh? uh, what Plaza shopping, Muka Supermercado. He is a close to some kind of supermercado. I'm thinking about what kind of supermercado, man. Uh, I remember his mom too. Oh, his mom is, you know, <sighs> long story. Um, let's see what else. Is he Muka Plaza shopping? Complex is well, Muka Mercado extra card. Yay. Shopping, Muka Plaza shopping. Eh, I, I would say that he was born here in this hospital, which I demonstrated to you. Uh, so I am going to just say in this area here. What is this here? Villa Galvao. Uh, maybe not. Estec La, let me see, what is the Estec? Lorenz, Lorenza, Lorenzetti Industries Brasileira, President Wilson. Now, uh, you know, a uh, post the Moana Radial, still home. You know, I am going to cast myself, let me see what that looks like. There is a President Costa Finto. 
Uh, this is what I am gonna. Uh, it looks like boy, like a like a Miami district for the art, man. Um, let's go back, and I am gonna cast into this presidente, uh, G, G presidente Costa Pinto here. This is. Uh, and I'm going to say to his mom to say hello to her. He's got a good, very good looking mom. I have no idea what she looks like, but she's good looking. That's all I know. And uh, I think the house is like, the resident is like, it, it's sort of unique uh, to this area, actually. Something like this it is. You know, uh, I because I don't have so much time that I would go and do the twist. I am just gonna go here and let me see here how much, how well I did. If I position myself into one more time, boom, boom, we're gonna do it like this. Where are we? Okay, not so. Yo, distributora, lo Lorenzetti, S A, boom. We're gonna do this here. I'm gonna see if I. See some kind of house. Okay, okay, no. Listen, I am just gonna end. This was like this is like one house, like in the area, something like this. It was like a very, very something like exclusive, something like this. Okay, what house the hell is this house? It's gonna take me three thousand years to to figure out. Uh, I will not figure out. Okay, I am just gonna throw myself down here. This is uh, President Costa, uh, Arno, uh, and so on and so forth. I am going to throw myself into this building here, whatever this is. What is this? That's it. No. No. Damn it. Uh, is it like not like a little smaller building somewhere? Uh, hello. I wanted to ask him, but it's not going to work this way. Um. Yeah, according to my memory, I am going to head down here. And uh, it's actually that the house is like something. There is a wall, and the house is like behind or something like. It's like this, with this case. I am gonna cast my vote in here. Is already, it's like a quite protected area. People have like walls and stuff like this around the residentials. Listen here, 100, this here. That's what we're gonna cast the vote for this gentleman. How am I doing now? Let's see if that makes any sense. I take this one. I take this one. Uh, even that... Uh, I, I take this one. I don't know why it's taking me. How many times I walk through here? million times. I am just going to say, thank you, man. Uh, here, I am going to pop you uh, your edges, hopefully. Uh, we're going to do it like this, we're going to do it like this. Uh, we're going to do it like this, and then I'm going to highlight this, like, you know, also like this. So it can be nicely seen. And we're going to go with this one here. And a uh, big thank you to your mom and to you too, man. Uh, yeah. That's how we're going to do that kind of stuff. And uh, peace, brothers. Um, I don't think I could do better than this. When it comes to this kind of stuff, I did um, a Prince Edward did anger me enough.
Okay, so that's it for this one here. Now, let's roll. I'm not doing an, another one. I could do better, I'm sure, but let's see what else is here because really there is other stuff to do. Man. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go. All right, so the ladies are having a good time. I see good time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this two are locals. This two are locals. Uh, let me see. Let me see this stuff again. Yeah. This two are locals, I know, because you know why I know. Because the thing is that I did this a lot. Uh, and then in Bosnia, something happened that they did zip my mouth. It's actually sort of funny. Um, this, this is this girl here that you see. Okay, so I, there's no girl that I wouldn't set my eyes on, really. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, let, me, let, me, let me go for this one here. <laughs> if you wanted the trouble, all you had to do is come close and you had it as much as you wanted. Okay, so uh, here's this couple. This is a Brazilian couple. I know, I know, I know because I was trying to give them a problem as much as possible um, because I like the girl and I figured out in MK Ultra that maybe if it doesn't want to be mine I can steal one from the boyfriend uh, husband to be okay and then he whipped my ass still and she helped him out uh, this couple here this is no Dutch man this is bullshit man this is no Dutch they were here also in our house they came to they came here to our house. This is Brazilian authentic. This is no British. This is no Dutch. There you go. I know because I was trying to steal him a girlfriend. He was a good friend of mine. Nice guy. Very nice. Very nice. Till this girl popped up, you know. And it was always like this. It was always good. Always okay. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Uh, and then the women pop up. And then it was a trouble. And... I suggested him that she is not white and this and that with the hope that eventually I'm going to have her. Uh, and boy, the two with my ass, nothing happened. In Bosnia, there was a girl I liked a lot. And there was, she was playing around with me. Uh, if I want her, if I want her, and I, yes, that I want, of course that I want. Uh, and then, um, bullshit, then she delivered two guys on the picture. And I was like, WTH, you know, what? Uh, actually, H crossed F in their end. It was like, what the hell? is this and uh, uh you know i figure out that i said to myself lady lady you know you're teasing me and uh then i decided i'm going to do the same thing to her as i did to this guy here uh and i did my best and i started to uh give her a hard time and that the guys that she brought in the picture uh, that these are actually aroma guys and so on and so and this and that don't you want me and this and that and the only thing that happened was they had a group sex in front of me this is actually real stuff all right just just to joke a little bit this is the real account I'm giving you okay that's how it was uh, and of course, uh, this is how it all ended with the trio from Bosnia. But anyways, the real Bosnian people, serious, I'm not kidding. Okay, anyhow. I never, I was not lucky with this MK Ultra. It was just too many ladies and uh, any tactic I tried uh, to outsmart these people, uh, People always had advisors, you know, they always found a way. 
to f me basically you know even 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 the roma girls that were beautiful i was not lucky there too eventually they whipped my ass too uh it was more like a comedy well you know I was never taking MK Ultra seriously because taking MK Ultra seriously that would be like the biggest mistake you possibly can make. <laughs> you can trust me that I'm not a veteran. I am the one who have gone through 30 years of MK Ultra. And I know something a little bit about. And so what I want to say is that uh you know, it's always a police that is present and uh you know, another thing is there's some other people too that are present and they study you and shit and uh, they uh, provide people uh, with solutions and uh, you're always a poor person. <sighs> MK Ultra love is tough. Okay, these two are from Brazil. They're not Dutch. They are not. Uh, they are not, uh, and that's what the British wanted, you know, they, they, they wanted me to get on, that's why they involved the women, you know, the women were always were a trouble, there was always a problem, you know, the women, there was no bigger problem than women, whatever the women was, it was, it was, boy, boy, I'm gonna say anything, okay, uh, but here, here's the deal, all right, um, Mm. Uh, I'm gonna put it this way, all right. What 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 else is here to say? Okay, there's nothing here to say. What the hell am I gonna say? I'm gonna say to you this: the guy that you see, this guy, yeah, he's got the yeah score. All right, this Amore here. All right, all right. I'm happy for you, man. And uh, the girl, this girl here, I have no idea. I had idea that she has a university degree. That is, she has a university degree? I don't know. I don't know. I just remember her when this couple already is together for some time. You know, they came together like they became a couple like in 2000 and uh, I have no idea. 12, I would say. 2012. They, they already celebrate well over 10 years now. Uh, you're probably talking about 13 years the two are together, you know, something like this. What is there to say? Uh, she is mixed, and this is a white guy, this guy. Maybe really of a Dutch, maybe really of a British. Uh, I have no idea, but very, very nice guy. Nice couple, beautiful couple. And so, what else is here to say, okay? If someone was to ask me, <clears throat> I would say that she has a university degree, but I, for sure she has a high school or university degree. I don't know. Okay? Um, I really don't know. I don't know. I, I am not going to go and guess between whether she has a university or she has a uh, high school. I have no idea. To to tell you the truth, I have no idea what uh, is she a nurse? Is she? I I don't know. Okay, just love each other and. That's all there is to it. Thanks God, these are Brazilian people. Uh, let's see what else. These are the two friends, these two ladies.
the man that you see here holding the book um this guy this is a german i was told even close to this i would go bremerhaven area no uh, do i really have to go with this stuff here uh, let's see it Oh, God. Hmm. Close to the Danish border, but from what I can recall, not really so close to the Bremish border, Danish border. It's not Bremerhaven, no. This is not Bremerhaven. This is um, um this is on the other side. This is not Bremerhaven. Bremerhaven is on toward Atlantic and this one is more inland so we're gonna see immediately uh, if I'm gonna have a chance to zoom myself out of this mm. okay come on Bremer ha yeah mm -hmm. so this is a whole different picture for me about me the next day. Okay, tell you what, that's a Bremerhaven and uh, this is down uh, Hamburg uh, and uh, when it comes to this guy mm, I would probably let me see if that, that's a kill that's a Lübeck you know I would go like with a Lübeck something like this I would go with the Lübeck something like that I would go no I Münster Rostock Stralsund and um, uh, kill. Transberg. Yeah, yeah, let me zoom a little bit more. Bremen, Hamburg, Lübeck. Bremen, Hamburg. Yeah, I would go uh, to uh, just about something like this. Lübeck, I would go. I, I'm going to take this one here, Lübeck. I would go with this one here, Lübeck. We're just going to go with this one here. I have no clue. Uh, this would basically be the area. Uh, and I and those people even suggested me Strasbourg, uh, because it was a lot of BS in this stuff. I'm telling you, but I am going to go with the Lübeck. I would actually, I, I would actually not do shit other than that. That's what I would do. I don't see any other uh, point there. I would go with this place here with a Lubeck. With a kill, maybe even with a kill or a Lubeck, I would go. That's all there is, probably. Supposedly, that he does have a family uh, with a Thai lady in Thailand. Hmm. Um. Is this stuff already I did not accent in a part one? I did place the picture below down below. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this opportunity to roll this a little forward. You see the lady right there? Uh that one right there that's pointing finger inside of the camera. This is all co-worker with the other lady that you have seen earlier. 
uh, for whom I have admit, uh, insisted that she works inside of this uh, accounting and so on. The two are actually co-workers. This is like co-worker, something like this, or librarian or whatever it is. These are all friends. All these people that you see here were involved in MKUltra, all of them, all of them, everyone you see here, everyone. Man, you know, I have to talk a little bit before I would start dealing with others. You just can't go uh, and point out for everybody. Uh, this I already have <coughs> stated for you. Um, a couple, and I, uh, let's do it like this. Um, okay, we, we did this one here, and we're going to do this. Now, okay, thank you. Um, set this here, right? Then we have this here, and we're going to go here, and let's see if there's like anything else we, we can do. I'm going to put this picture right below the video, so there's going to be no confusion about it this lady here this heart here and this man here are a husband and wife spouses um, husband a professor professor at university uh, engineer by profession I think Okay, now that's a funny thing. That comes a funny part about it. I was damn sure that this man is actually... That's what scares me a little bit. I know that what I stated is the way it is. But what scares the shit out of me in respect to this man is his work location. His work location is along the coastline. You know? along the coastline of uh, Sao Paulo. That's where the problem is. Now, I already started to get too gutsy and too comfortable with this stuff. I don't know. But sure, it started to scare me a little bit. Uh, with truly hope uh, that these people did not uh, took me for a ride uh, or had other people uh, involved that, that did this. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with British royals in the picture and the Russians and, uh, uh, and uh, also Slovenian police, psychiatry and so on. I mean, right? What possibly could go wrong? Okay, we're going to do this in a white color because uh, that color, the red one, you cannot even see anywhere. And so I'm going to do it like this and try this to see if this is going to be somehow more successful. All right. Also not. You will remember me. That's it. Uh, engineer by profession. Okay. When I say Sao Paulo, a uh, coastline, I had no idea that this is what it looks like in the Sao Paulo. You see, I should use a map before I decided I'm going to do this video. I, I, in my head, was that the zoo was actually uh, a coastline, man. you know. Uh, and uh, let's see this stuff here, what's exactly we're talking about here. So that would be basically Guaruya. Uh, and there should be probably here, the university, yeah, here. Let me see if there is some kind of university here. Villa, Villa, let's see this here. What about some schools? <clears throat> Let's, I tell you what, university, uh, university, and let's see what the university, there you go, 
okay now i remember also he had a daughters that would go here also i think to university and stuff like this um oh you know what um ha huh. um it was all very nice drive whenever he would be taking me down there i enjoyed uh, this drive let me see something else here yeah how about here hey uh, let's see what is in the area here this is this is a, such a giant place okay so i am probably uh, i'm probably right i'm probably probably this one here i would say it's U N I F E S P. This one. Um, let me see this. UNIFSP. Yeah, UNIFSP. Public University, they say. Okay. We're going to do this one here, like this. Yeah, we're going to pop this one here. And, uh, and uh, let's see if we can get this one copied here. This is the address. It is going to be this one, yeah. Boom, we're going to do this, boom. And then what we want to do is we want to check this out. He's got a beautiful daughter still. Nothing ever came out of it, man. Oh, the woman, the only thing that came out of the woman was the trouble. It was always a problem. Yes, of course, he's got a daughter because they walk me here back and forth like stupid. You know, but nothing, nothing, nothing ever came out of absolutely any. This is what the daughter study. Yeah. So wonderful, isn't it? Um, oof, two daughters, man. Rich guy. Uh, and she was moving along this here back and forth. You know, um, this is good. This is okay. Thank you very much, Padre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop him uh, address of the university, and I want to say muito obrigado. Você para informação do Sofias e do você mesmo, mesmo. We're going to do it like this. Boom. And uh, what else do you want? Thank you very much. There you go. There you go. Okay. Works. Works at phone. The nice man was also here in our house. Okay. Nice. But still, I don't know what I was trying to do to him with his daughters, and it just didn't work out. I I got slapped. All right, okay, it's okay. Uh, this is wife. Uh, I think already retired before he retired. Uh, was I think was i think think a teacher uh both have two married daughters one is for sure married it was like this Shk. You know, the only thing i heard was from the father was sorry that was it and uh, that was it and uh, the second one um you know, I'm sure married already. So that's how it is. That's how the things went. And we're going to do this. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, and let's see what else we can do. We're going to do this one here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I, I got the man. I got the guy. Shit, man. 
<clears throat> somehow I am gonna cast here for this guy either a Lubeck. Um talking about the Blondino here that you see that is showing me a back the German guy now my man now it's your turn that's it the book you're holding in your hands that's how we're gonna do it um originally listen to this now originally he is from Lübeck um as a matter of fact um i think uh he lived with a mother in the Lubeck. It was something like this. And then he moved to the father from the Lubeck. It was something like this. The father, the two parents separated and moved from a, a, a Lubeck area into uh, even something like Berlin area or something like this. It was something like this. It was quite uh, like... Blah, 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 blah. And then he got himself a family in Thailand, Mary, a Thai girl. Yeah, something like this, right? So what we're going to do here is, boom, we're going to go back here. We're going to write this down here. Originally, okay, originally from Lübeck area, however, have moved to set the father down to their area. Okay. Uh, when did the two parents separate it? I have no idea. If I was to go about the idea when the two parents separated, I'll probably go and cast my vote to about like 2,000. And that's enough, man. Um, probably parents separated in 2,000, I would say. We're going to do it like this. Yeah, we're going to do this one here. We're going to do it like this. And I'm also going to say about this guy, his uh, family of of his own in Thailand. Uh, my wife with children, a beautiful Thai wife with the children. Got a, I think very happy with it. I think very happy this German with it in Thailand with a Thai wife. I think very very satisfied with it. I hope I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, so that's basically how we are gonna do this stuff. All right. Uh, unless it was a mother that stayed in Berlin and he moved to the Lübeck area. Is that possible? Fuck yes, of course that also is possible. I don't know whether he moved. I I only remember that uh, he moved to the father. And I think the father is actually a mechanic, maybe, or something like this. There's nothing I can do. That's it. That's all I can do. That is going to be number five we're going to use here. It's going to be number five. It's going to be this one here. Is this okay? This is okay. So it's number five. We're gonna do this one here, you know, like this. It's gonna be number five. Yeah. His father, I think, is a mechanic. You know, uh, his father is like, uh, I think, mom got married, maybe even with a non-German, something like this, uh, maybe with. A Pollock or uh, I have no idea to tell you or maybe a Turkish individual or maybe 
something like this, I don't know. And uh, father is, uh, he got remarried with, with some German lady or something like this, but it's, shit, uh, father is the one from, uh, father is the one, sorry, father is the one, I think, from Lübeck, and mom is from Berlin, something like this area. So, man, hey, here, now, nah, there you go. Uh, here, father, father is from Lübeck area, and the mother is from Berlin area. We're going to do it like this, and we're going to do it like that. And we're going to do this, boom, and uh, we're going to put some yellow on it, mellow, and then peace. Brothers, we are out to see what else is out there for us. Boom. Um, yeah, I don't think he moved to mother. I think he was with the mother, and he moved to the father, something like this, to Lubeck area, back to Lubeck area. He is from Berlin originally. That means that he moved to the mother. All right, now let me finish off this. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice kid, this one. Very, very nice kid. Nice boy. Um... Berlin, this boy here, and uh, I would visit him in Berlin. The parents separated in 2000, man, but this is all based on logic. I connect this stuff, you know. <laughs> um, and uh, was growing up in, in, uh, in Berlin, but he was keeping up with me. And uh, that was with the mother, and the mother... I have no idea whom he, she was married. It was person uh, multicultural environment, I would say. Yeah, and once he grew up, I think he moved back to the Lübeck area where his father is from. So that's it, peace, brothers. That's it. That's how you're gonna do this stuff. Georgina from Lübeck area, however, have moved to separated father. No, it's actually mother. Mother. So you're going to put like this. Now we take that just like a little down scale to, let's say, another 20, like this. We're going to do it like this, that. And uh, we're going to do. Like a little a check mark here too. Let it be yellow, mellow, and click here. Save, and we move on to the next issue. Let's see what else. Is there like anything else you want more? Huh? Let's see what else. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. This lady is already retired. She retired. Oh, oh, I did not finish this, have I? She retired before the husband. Which is kind of a strange because she looks so young to me. So I should ask you why did she retire already? She retired before the husband, I think. She re before Is she already retired? Shit, I shouldn't say that, man. I had a feeling that she did already retire. I, I am not going to say that. Let's, let's not take a risk. Okay, so, I mean, all that stuff, we got it. Right. So this is basically what I think. <clears throat> Let me see something else here. So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> have I done? Yes, I did. Uh, that gentleman, I did him. Okay, cool. Uh, OK, 
Okay. Okay. Um, and then you have uh, this girl here, and uh, um, she was involved in it and stuff like this. Um, and the other one over there was involved in this one right there was involved in it. Um, oh, this is again. This is a, this is it. Another friends, the three of them I know. Oh man, hey. Well, you know, they they just didn't want to get married with me. Let's continue. It's 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 uh, it's the stuff that I provided yesterday with. I want to complete that stuff and uh, uh, hopefully that we meet with everyone here. Um. What have I done? Oh, there you go. Um, is it like... Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go and boom. And we're gonna do it like this. And we're gonna do this one here. And I am gonna take this man right here. I wanna picture this man is always... Uh, this is like a, some kind of a local star, this man. And now everybody's going to laughing at me in uh, Sao Paulo. But the truth is that he would even get sometimes a contract for his uh, singing or something like this. He's very talented. Talent, talented. A singer, a local, uh, married with also black lady with a many uh, children including daughters and and the grandchildren and the grandchildren like this he is some kind of a star uh, I have no idea. He he does uh, singing and stuff like this if he had opportunity. That's the impression he made on me. He was always well dressed. This man was always well dressed and uh, I don't know. He was always uh, um, you know, I had a feeling that he was always looking for the business basically, you know. Um that he always tried to solicit for uh, some kind of business that he can sing and stuff like this. That's at least the impression uh, he made on me. He was always doing this stuff. He was doing not only here, but he was like on a public uh, areas where he would sing and stuff like this. So I got an idea that he's very popular or something like this, you know. Yeah, they have a house and so on. Grandchildren, children, daughters. It's a quite a big family, actually. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We're going to save this and see what else is going to pop up here. Man standing right in front of me. Um, Let me see something else here. Yeah, let me see something else here. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
she has a university degree too the black lady i'm about to damn she that black babe she's got a university degree too um um hey uh there is another one here i am gonna use the opportunity the one i was always interested to that's also a cleaning lady that's the lady with the big chest uh not here a little further uh, why not i'm gonna tell you exactly what uh, is by the profession Come on, eh? Why is it doing this stuff to me, man? It's keep jumping back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do a little hula dance, all right? Okay, oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Dadam, dadam. Ow! Oh, where is that lady? Let me see something else here. All right. All right, since you all insist so much on this stuff, boy, boy, boy. Okay. I'm never going to get out of here. Okay. All right. Here, this two ladies here. No, the two are only not. They're not only friends. It's worse than this. Uh, I think they're like both with degrees, you know, both of these are with degrees. Do they work at the same place? No, but very near next to one another do. Both involved in it, not here. Both, both, both involved in it. It was the time when I was going after these two ladies, too. I don't think I would forgive a single lady. Um, both have degrees. You know, I should even know. But I'm going to tell you what. This one that you see here, she works about... She works about... Five minutes away from where the other one below it works. I wouldn't say it's five minutes from one another, but very, very close to one another. Okay. So the, the only thing I'm going to do is I think this is a librarian, this one. This is probably a librarian, this girl. And the location is in a very, very close proximity to this Okay, probably, probably li, librarian, probably li, librarian, accountant, a private company, assistant, 
director. She works, this one here works all her life in a company. So that's basically is how, what I think I would. This one here. There was some company that It's a, it's a, it's a, some kind of a private company. It's a private company that she works at, and I think she does accounting inside administration. You know, and this one here, this one is probably library. I had a feeling like she's like ten minutes away. All right. Works like. Like ten minutes from ten minutes walk from one on the right. That's what I think. Or the hell were the two meeting all the time each other? It's very difficult to say. And that I would have to go literally find a place where they work and so on and so forth. I'm not fucking doing that, man. It's a big city. Uh, that would be like crazy. Mm. No, actually, I'm mistaken about this stuff here. A private company assistant director. Probably a librarian. A two half degree. So she works very close to the one you see here. No, I screwed up. I totally screwed up. Yes, but there is 10 minutes walk. Uh, but right with trolley, whatever. Yes, shit, man. I actually would even know where the two work now because of this. Damn it. Oh boy, boy, boy. I would have to go now look at the trolleys and shit. Um I tell you what, it, this is like the two friends that is the two are, you know what I mean? Works like ten minutes walk. Whew. Let me just uh That's not true. Let's do it like this. Both have degrees. Okay. She works at the library and has uh, like about, she would argue with me and say 15 minutes, 15 minutes public transport plus 10 minutes five ten minutes ten minutes walk to and and on right Yeah, did, did you believe that these two ladies um, works for private company? Works in administration accounting department, something like this. As a matter of fact, eh, when it comes to this lady here, 
Uh, we're going to do is we're going to go here. works in private company, uh, works in administration, accounting department, um, she works in, in, in some kind of company. Um, if she does have, she has a two-year degree. It's not so terrible. She's not so terribly educated if she does have a two-year degree. It is not so much as I anticipated first, but this is a private company and it's some kind of accounting company. That's what that is. Accounting department. Uh, let me see that kind of stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to reduce this to like this. Let's see. Okay, works for private company, works in administ admin administration accounting. Uh, department works in accounting I think it's like better uh, administration works in administration accounting department it's okay works uh, for a private uh, company you know I did excellent that works in administration accounting department and that's all I can say this is like a, a private company which they opened uh, it's not even such an old company. They opened, I think, this company sometimes. I can, I think it's like a blue color company. Uh, the building, yeah. And they, I think, they opened one like in uh, this shit goes all the way, man, to <sighs> they might have not opened one in, in, in 1990. Uh, 1997 or something it might have been there already there was something that went on like in 2000 and so on that maybe went into the private hands or whatever they change ownership or something like this I don't know what it is she started to work in that company I would I estimate sometimes yeah I don't know 97 She's been she's been working there since from forever, basically. Um, I would say something like this. I would give her um, building. I think it's blue. Blue uh, building. Uh, it's actually quite modern. Uh, or might have been modernized. Uh, classic like building like almost i would say you could say actually government building like a small government building actually not so small quite a building um not some kind of a high rise or something like this i would say one story two story like three stories maximum building uh and you know when it comes to offices and stuff like this uh, i would say you know, I don't know. I, maybe I would say like <sighs> each floor maybe would have, I don't know, maybe 20 offices or something like this. Quite big, 60 offices maybe will make it 60. It's actually not so small, you know. Um, yeah, I remember now more and more is it maybe even a government company? I have no idea. I know that, uh, I'm trying to understand that. She works in that administration and it's quite a, uh, I have no idea. This is, this, this is, this is a building that, it, that it's like, it could be even shared offices inside. I have no clue. Uh, this this building, uh, 
uh, where she is in. It could be that uh, it's it's actually in the middle of it. It's actually even it's like a round and round and round. It's like a square uh, that is uh, like empty in the middle, something like this. What exactly I mean is about something like this I'm going to do to you. Uh, exactly I mean is like this. Let me demonstrate you this. Um, that will be something like this. Uh, this is probably a, even a government building. I have no fucking idea what... Uh, it would be like this, like this, like this. Uh, very, very nice lady. Actually, I started to think that this, she works for the, the, the government, this lady. Because she's so nice. She always was so nice. That's a problem. Uh, the people like this always used to work for the government. That's something to note that she never got into the conflict no matter what no matter how many people got if the whole uh, sao paulo was in war she never did got into the war you see this here this is basically the type of building we are talking about uh if i was to do like a little profile on it uh, this is what the building would look like. So I, I started to doubt that she's actually working for the private company now. No. Not necessary that she works uh, for a private company. Uh, not a good sketch here, but I got a stuff to do. Uh, I am going to keep this stuff here. It's going to be about three stories tall. One floor, two floor, uh, the base, the first floor, the second floor, the third floor. And I, what the hell I'll give you? I give you four floors. That's all the hell I give you. All right, so I'm going to give you this one. And this is going to be included also in description. for this lady here, city worker. Bullshit, this is not a private worker. She is in administration. City worker, government worker. This is a government worker. This is a government worker. Private company, my ass, no. She works for city. The building, I think, was renovated in, hell, man, I don't know, 2008. Painted, whatever. Works for city government. Hey, they had all kinds of people involved in this stuff, man. Trust me, this is not my fault. Okay, works for government. City government, company. Works for administration, accounting department, works for private company. Bullshit. Uh, take this and you do the whiteout immediately. Uh, we're going to do it like this. Works for private company, blue building. Uh -huh. um, works for private, works for. You're just going to do like this. And uh, this is the worst part here private. Uh, we're going to take this back like this. I'm going to do this one here. This is a city worker, this lady. This is a government worker. This is not a joke. 
What you're gonna do it like this. Works for city. Sudaji. Sudaji, they say. Sudaji, they say. The Brasileiro. Brasileiro say Sudaji. City. City. And uh, she works at the mayor. I think that's a mayor in there. I think that's an administration, city administration. And um, because of her abilities, she is very appreciated. She is very, very, very cool, very, very smart lady, this lady. Oh. Um, what I'm going to say to you is, she was in the city, boom, uh, building... Oh, the side is blue on inside yellow, mellow. Something like this, all right? I am not, this is what it is. I, I, I'm not taking this further. Hey, crap. Hey. Let's go see what else. All right, let's see what else. Oh, man. Hey, uh, uh, troublemakers. Hey. Oh, there's more people involved. Folks, we're never going to finish this stuff. Uh, I am not even getting myself into this anymore, man. <laughs> I got other stuff, other priorities. Muito obrigado. Thank you so much for everything. What is here for me to say? Then thank you. I am doing this. Brazil. Um, this guy here, did you see? A German guy here was teasing me in the Berlin big time. Uh, he moved to his mother, actually. He became very, very multicultural. Uh, very, very diplomatic for Angela Merkel. Man, this guy. Big man. Uh -huh -huh, this is very, very important. This also is a cleaning lady, this one here. So, yeah, this one here. This is the one. Uh, I was trying to hook up with big time. Ah, uh, this lady, big lady. <laughs> She's a clean lady, very nice lady. Clean lady. And I was desperate to marry her. Uh, but every time, <laughs> she is older than myself, but I think she is. She is still very good looking. Uh, probably not even, no, maybe not even older than myself. Damn it. She's very good looking. And she told me that she's a cleaning lady every time and her romance have fallen apart. Uh, this one here, we're going to keep this one here. Yeah, this is funny, man. Uh, let's see what else here. We're going to do this here. It's going to be as a number six. This is also a cleaning lady. Just like that black lady. Uh, where does she work? I don't want to know. I have no idea. I don't want to know. <laughs> I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about this no more, man. That's it. That I have enough. I'm tired of it. Okay. I have another lady that walked in. That I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, that black lady, man, it's it sounds familiar too. Uh, there you go. Now she's singing. <sighs> oh boy, eh? favorita, favorita, yeah, favorita. No. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, okay. How? Oh. Yeah, believe me, all these people involved in it. So this is this guy is a freelancer. He's a photographer. I'm telling you, he is selling the photos and stuff like this. But free private company stuff. He always worked in a, a 
private field. So uh, let me see this stuff here. And uh, of course, everybody involved in this and that, you know, all three of them. Oh, God, no way. I'm a fucking poor way. Boom. Come on. Uh, the three ladies, uh, the three half uh, degree. Boom. Of the three, the three have a degree. Uh, as a matter of fact, not really. The one that is demonstrating me the photo uh, of uh, of this girl maybe does not have a degree. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this a little bit like this. We're gonna do this like this. I go after my photographer like this. And then I am going to do it like this, and I am going to tell you like this. This black babe, she does have a university degree. Uh, then you have this one here. This babe here does have university degree. Uh, How much of a university degree does she have? She has. Very, very involved. Both of them. The three of them. Um, I am just going to start writing it down. University degree. University degree. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What is she doing? I have no idea. I know that that. Uh, she worked very hard, I know this, and got completed uh, a degree. I know this. I know, and I'm thinking about that she is possibly even a nurse. Uh, possibly. Uh, nurse. But I'm not sure. Possibly a registered nurse. Or mm, if she's not a registered nurse, she is um, hey, oh man, it's, it's, uh, if she's not a registered nurse, what else could it be? I don't know, man. I think she's a registered nurse. I don't know what else she could be. I think she's a registered nurse. Uh, I, I don't know. Is I like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, accounting, uh, legal stuff. Uh, I think she's a nurse. I am going to stop, I'm going to end, and I'm going to move to the next one. Uh, and we got a next one here, we got this one here. I also got whipped ass. <sighs> I'm trying to make a problem to her boyfriend. Um,
I don't know, man. Um, this here, basically, I have no idea. This would be... Um, this would be... Uh, she got a boyfriend very, very early on, uh, is older than what it looks like. Um, I, I would say that she is permanently dating the guy already since like, <clears throat> like even 2000 and, 2000 and, uh, 2002, 2003 or something like this. Uh, and when it comes to education, it's very difficult for me to say, you know, the same guy she dated always uh and uh <sighs> this is a university drop -off. this is a university dropout uh and then we have here uh this is um um this here is uh <laughs> This is either a high school um I would say this is a high school yeah I would say that that she has a high school something like this for this girl here that you see right there um I am trying to picture uh the rest of the stuff And it's basically as far as I can go. I, I would say that there would be like a high school right there. Uh, even that I had a feeling that, that she got her degree in something uh, straight through the school. Uh, but I think that uh, we are talking about the high school here. I think that we are talking about like, from what I can recall, the parents and everything else. Uh, that she went on to work very early, I think. Um, Yeah, I would say high school. That's all I would say. Um, that's what I would say. Um, that's as far as I can get. Uh, what else I can tell you about the girl completely on the right side? Uh, that's that's basically that's basically what I stated. It's like a high school, uh, a high school, basically high school. 
I think she has a brother, but I'm not sure about it. That's all I am going to do for this one here. So this is number six. We're going to go back to see what else do we have here. So I am rather going to concentrate on the local market. Uh, the man who is smiling and is walking this way did what you see right here so many times that it was a bad stuff that went on in in uh, tremendously a lot of violence in in Sao Paulo. It was madness in there too. Uh, it was the madness that was imported from Europe. It was a madness that was imported from Europe, also from the States. They wanted this way. Um, I told you about the people that visited. Uh, I was guilty for all kinds of stuff. Uh, they started a civil war over there. Uh, the government wanted to know who belongs to what position, uh, side, whatever, and it was a fucking madness. Using me for the eavesdropping on Brazilian people throughout the entire Brazil. Uh, they just want it this way. That's what I was used for. Uh, as for the guy that you see is heading my way, um, this man is married, has a wife, has a children. Uh, long ago already, one of the earliest participants. So I'm going to use him. He's also a local guy. Oh boy. Um, we're going to use this to present him to uh, as a part of the issue. We're going to do this. Oh, uh, married, has a children and stuff like this, man. Oh, hold on, sorry. Yeah. Brazilian. Married with children. Brazilian married with the children. Uh, that's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, children long grown up already. Uh, he wants to be a Bruce Lee on this picture, right? A tough boy. All right, let's see what else we have here. It's got to be humor at least. That's how I beat all this shit. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Bruce Lee left the picture. Let's see. Let's see more Bruce Lee's here. Still, it's coming my way. All right. And uh, that's interesting here. Now, that could be a lolic bollock coming my way. Janek Polski, Piotrek. Let's see it. You know, let me see this from a little closer. Oh, no way. This guy here is the ultimate product of the racism. I'm going to tell you about this blonde guy. This is an ultimate product of Angela Merkel. This was the guy who was searching and searching next to the German police for the issues I could find basically to excuse the lunacy which German government very very much anticipated would be used to excuse its crime against me throughout the Germany in front of the German in front of the minorities in the Germany and as you see all the way to Brazil, he found his way. 
and I bet he did marry a Thai lady in Thailand to excuse a German crime. Nice to see you. Berlin, Berlin. Um, they were literally preparing him. They were literally drilling him on how they're going to have this operation excused and how they're going to do it. And so, you know. It was not my choice, it's how the Germany wanted, and I'm going to give you full assistance in it. This man here, did you see that turned around and walk away like this with a phone? This has a house, a uh, private yard, house, a uh, quite wealthy guy. I should have known more about this stuff, not only about the children and stuff like this and wife. Um... This more sounds to me like he's from the suburb somewhere where there is like green, there's like enough grass and stuff like this. Uh, there's a lot of grass in front of his house, in front of his home. He's got a closed house, very private, I would say. Uh, okay. You're gonna add to this a little bit. Has a house. Uh, has a uh, um, uh, has also a sister, I think. Uh, has a big grass. Uh, has a has a grass field with trees in front of his house. Possibly is from suburb. That's how we're gonna do that stuff. Yeah, that's how we. Stuff. Let's see what else do we have here. Okay. <sighs> uh, this video that you see here, uh, not this one. This is event that took place that if I would say that this was the video that I have seen before, that would be really as paranoid schizophrenic. But with the actors that you see right there, 
with exactly the same, you want to call this mob or whatever, I would thank them. Was already played in front of me on many occasions inside of this house, inside of this kitchen, inside of the white room and so on, by the Slovenian government, by the people literally involved, and maybe by somebody else too, to enter the wrong information in my memory. As for the German guy right there, I'm going to put it this way, my friend. Uh, if you came to assist me, it's okay. If you came to assist Angela Merkel, it's not going to be okay. I did not work my way, do my stuff, so that you would get some kind of excuse for the German government in respect to the lunacy one orchestrated against me. Destroyed me 33 years of life. It's not going to be for free. If it's for the family in Thailand, it's okay. If it's for Berlin, it's not. Here, I was even accused of the racism against Italians, racism against the Germans, and so on and so forth. All kinds of stuff went on. Exactly because of the issues I already have pointed out. This could be, however, Polish guy, this here. Uh, that's why I was waiting and watching and waiting and casting, and uh, I finally waited on it. Okay, uh, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't sure about uh, what to do it, but this is a Polish guy, I think, with. Um, This is a Polish guy, I think, in my opinion. This is a, this is a Polish guy with his daughter. Literally. This guy. I got to see this again, because I'm not... And that lady, right? Hold on, man. Oh. Let's do it again. Let's do a little dance here. Mm-hmm. It doesn't pay off to take this stuff here. There is more city workers right there. I was going to demonstrate to you. Govern workers too. Uh, there you go. Um, okay, I caught one. And I am going to do this stuff here. And now we're going to do this stuff here. And... Uh, We gotta do this stuff here. You see what the problem is? This is what you get now. This is how it goes. And um, I am just gonna take this lady here. This is um, this lady who was heavily involved in it too. Uh, she does have a husband and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I annoyed her too. Uh, already long gone, children, daughters, whatever, I don't know. I gave her a problem too. This is, what you see right there, is like, a, is got a, I think she's got a university degree and she works for the government, but I'm not completely certain whether she works for the municipality or she works for the school system. I have no idea. University degree, most likely 
works for the city administration or possibly even school. When I say school, I say this because there were some other babes back in the days, a gorgeous uh, lady. She's still good looking, but there were some other beautiful ladies on the picture again. Sorry, ladies. I mean, this is how it is. Uh, and uh, it's that kind of uh, stuff that you see inside of the schools and you, you see the local government. And I come to conclusion due to the number of the personnel employed over there, there's few cuties that, that there was there and this, this and that number of the people this was like a local government worker adam adam administration is going to be this one here administration we're going to the administration boom like this bang boom down dank and uh we're gonna do this. We're gonna go right here, and that's about it. Yes, of course, he's got a husband now. Um, you can't see the husband anywhere, right? So we gotta do this stuff here, whatever. This. What else do we have going on? I need to use the restroom. Excuse me. This guy is from the suburb of Sao Paulo, you know. Um, he's got a grass in front of the house and uh, quite a quite a little piece of land that borders the street and some trees on, yeah, you know, in front of the house. Yeah, it's like like a little hilly stuff. There is houses down the road too. It's a street, but he's got a considerable piece of land if compared to the city, and he's from the suburb of Sao Paulo. Okay, government worker. I think maybe even works with the mayor or something like this. I don't know. Municipal government, whatever. Uh, building uh, offices, basically not such a big building. Okay, quite a big building. No, not such a big building. I don't know. I account for probably about like, I have no idea, maybe 30 employees inside. Something like this, I don't know. It's a government building. Less, probably, I would even say. It's basically what I think. I don't think it's a private company. I think she works for the city municipality. Let's see what else.
Uh, this is a very nice guy. This uh, very nice man. This guy. And uh, I have a real problem with this man. Because I don't know. Uh, I think this guy is actually also either he's Polish or he is also Brazilian guy. Uh, but uh, this was a very, very nice guy, very polite guy, very wonderful guy. Uh, eventually, he started to be involved also for a very long time. Uh, and because I can see also his wife on the picture, this is a local, this is not a Polish, this also is a Brazilian guy. We're going to also fix this issue. I'm going to write down here. Brazilian guy, Brazilian guy, and uh, fuck the brainwash that took place here uh, in respect to who is what is when they got video recordings and everything to fuck me basically inside of my own home in Slovenia and stuff like that. This is a Brazilian guy because I remember his wife. Uh, I remember his wife. Um, now let's go, uh, this is also here from the area, I am trying to figure out what his profession, he kept it very, very private, he was very, very afraid of problems that people could bring along because of the case, but he wanted to help very much like everyone else. And so, what I'm going to say to you is that, uh, I think that his wife has got a university. We're gonna go here. A wife has a degree. Uh, I would even say four here. Uh, obviously, that's his daughter. That is his daughter. Uh, he didn't want a wife to be on the picture. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, what type of work is this gentleman doing. And uh, somehow I can't break through. Um, I think they do have a house. Uh, I'm trying to figure out about the house. Yep. Do have a house, trying to figure out if they have two daughters. Yes, one or daughter. Uh, who, how is older? Are we going to add this information also to it? And I want to thank you very much for doing this stuff for me. Who, however, is older? Um, I want to say to the German guy that I don't mean no harm. But I'm extremely, extremely sensitive to as to uh, obtaining no answer whatsoever in respect to my work and being literally compelled under extremely insane circumstances into identifying and so-called identifying people. So, man, I am, I don't mean no harm against you, but... Truly, the German state, the way the German state apologized, the genocide against me, is not going to be tolerated. That was a mistake, a serious mistake that the Germans, many, many Germans, refer to as a very serious mistake. Including the German presidents have actually even condemned. 
the stuff is inappropriate, wrong, and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, so a uh, wife has a university degree, four year, that is his daughter. Um, I'm trying to understand what exactly the profession is and uh, I, I can't figure out because uh, I remember him driving around picking up wife and family and so on, had me with me, uh, had me with, uh, with him, had me with him in a car and so on, van, whatever that was, it's a very family man. And uh, uh, I can't help but to somehow assume that, uh, you know, that he actually works, uh, I'm really not sure, with the police, maybe, or uh, that uh, I'm trying to figure out because, uh, you know, he would, uh, he would go, you know, get a uh, wife and... Uh, So on. Uh, it's not going to be possible that I will figure out what he's doing. You know, I I I, I sort of had a, a even idea that he's working for some kind of radio station or some that, that he is taking care of some kind of uh, that he maintains some kind of records or something like this, like that he's doing some, in, in some house, something like, um, you know, TV house or something like that, that he maintains, uh, or that he, that he is working in some kind of archive, archive, you know, archive, uh, something like this, that that's the kind of stuff that he's doing. I'm really, really not convinced about it, that that's the type of stuff that he's doing. I can't. I am not going to be successful with doing that kind of stuff. Never figure out. Maybe it's going to come to me, and if I will, uh, it will be something additionally I will consider. Involved. Uh, involved, uh, this is the guy very much uh, from the area also, this guy uh, I had no idea about this man this is just a nice kind man uh, who lives not too far from there and uh, I always picture him uh, basically just the polite guy uh, who always was using a bicycle as a transportation. This man that you see right there, this guy um, was in some kind of apartment building, really not too far from there, always was part of the team, and always was using a bike, always, always rode. Uh, bicycle a bicycle 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 a bicycle like this a bicycle bicycle rider something like this a very nice guy uh, from the area I don't remember him actually driving the car really not very very uh, Always kept very, very correct, private to himself over there. Bicycle is basically what I see that he had as a, a, a transportation, I think. He was a single guy always. I think one time he dated some black lady or something like this. I don't know, man. Uh, that's... He used to live with a mother, I think, by himself his entire life or something like this. Single, always single, I would say.
always single, I would say. Always single, always in one building, some kind of apartment building. Uh, he would use bicycle. That's about from what I can recall from this guy. Am I wrong about it? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I am. I don't know. And there you go. I already have spoken about her. She has a I don't know. Father separated, mother separated. I don't know what the issue is. She has half brothers and brothers and sisters. Uh, she has uh, older. You know, or she's the oldest one. I don't know. Uh, this girl, it's like this. Uh, to me, this is the strangest thing I have ever seen in my lifetime because this is tall, strong, beautiful, good looking, intelligent, uh, incredibly loving person. When I say loving, supported over her family, is this girl that would go out uh, and actually would go. To the city to work to live to the city basically try the city life wanted she was eager to go about the life uh, it goes all the way back to 1998 uh, and she departed from home to the city and uh, wasn't sure what she's gonna be doing and uh, she was good with this guitar she was associated around with the people and figured out this would be the way to make the money even but I have no idea because now there is a problem with it. Um, something suggested me that she went on to complete the university uh, and have graduated totally from university. She visited here in Slovenia, this house, everything, my home. Um, she was just always like, whenever I would be in town in a city, she would immediately come to, to meet me, this girl. Um, she does have... Uh, huh. I have no idea did father and mother separated actually what the situation was. Because it's a, it's a really, really, really very unusual situation. Mother was incredibly beautiful. And uh, <laughs> this is always, uh, no, the always is not. And uh, I don't know, but father also. Now, uh, a very, very tough call. If they separated, if they did, what I'm saying is, they don't live far from one another if the parents did separate it. Uh, and if they did separate it, if the parents did separate it, they separated very, very early. Uh, then you would be talking about. I'm going to put it this way I think she probably have a three brothers and two sisters, something like this. And that's what I'm going to say. It's a big family. She's one of them. She departed to the city, tried to work in 98. Whether she completed university or not, I do not know. It appeared to me that she, in fact, did complete the university. But the thing is, she always had a guitar in her hands and she was playing around 
and uh, all over the city. It was the time of her life where she was really, really busy associating herself with a lot of people. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, maybe the money was good back then. I have no idea what the, what the issue is. I still want to believe at least that she finished the university. That she got a four-year degree. If she got a four-year degree, she got the four-year degree very, very early on. And she would walk with degree in her hands already sometimes in. Which what I think the case is. One of the first that would complete the degree then. It was like 2002, something like this, that she would have a degree in her hands. Uh, 2003, if she did. Uh, 2002, 2003, she would finish, she would have her degree. Based, based on, on, I have no idea, she, she, she briefly disappeared from the picture. And so I assumed uh, it was all talk about the university and stuff like this. Uh, but then it was also about... It was all kinds of stuff that went on. With this guitar, she did confuse me because always I saw her everywhere I saw her. Uh, in uh, Sao Paulo, this is like a lot of... Uh, in Brazil, it's like a lot of... Uh, people give a lot on the art, you know, on the music, on the art. Uh, it was a wealthy people that were coming in city, these Illuminatis and so on, and they had money, uh, at least what it appeared as a serious money uh, to uh, invest, you know, uh, in uh, public opinion. You, do you understand what I'm trying to say? They were always trying to make a strong, positive impression on uh, locals, wherever the hell they went. And it was totally not different uh, in, uh, of course, in Brazil. Because their business depended on uh, exactly what I stated to you right now, you know. Yeah. Um, if that was not the case, uh, then. And I'm really not sure because she would take money home to it, whatever she would earn and stuff like this. Uh, she was just quiet like a mouse and uh, worked. And probably even, I don't know, studied or whatever. This is what I assumed the case would be. Uh, and bring the home also money to her mother and so on and support uh, home and so on. So this is a very, very high possibility. This is a case. I don't know whether she finished the university or not. I believe that she did. I want to believe that she did. I would also say that I think that she did finish the university. Yeah, I think that, that she did finish the university. Probably employed by, I don't know, by the art uh, school or something like this. Um, I would love to think. Um, and if that is not the case, then she spent her life doing exactly what you see here. Because I don't picture her absolutely anywhere else. That's all I can say. Either work for uh, the University of Art. As a university graduate, graduate in two thousand and three, or uh, she spent her life as musician, as a street musician, life as a street musician. I am 100% sure that uh, she is a university graduate, this girl, because 
she was I remember that she was extremely extremely busy I was told this is actually difficult to 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 find her even and so on and so forth that she is extremely busy uh, it's not just like this and so on and so forth and so but she did find her way on a picture and so on and so it's very very tough for me to come to conclusion let's go I'm going to have to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for staying with me late like this. It's one more time. I'm going to play to you the whole thing. I'm going to turn the audio on, and that's going to be it, pretty much, for me. This is definitely, in my opinion, a university degree. Graduate. Uh, actually, I think she, they told me that this, is, this, this girl is just brilliant intelligence that's that's basically what uh i was taught about when it comes to her what uh she is crying and she is uh Trust me that she knows for every word she say, for everything that there is a message, there is a hidden message inside in it. Is the biggest message is from her. This is a university graduate. I, I bet with everything I have that this is this is like a diamond, the most brilliant I think the lady, I think that they have. This was the most uh, uh, advanced uh, in maybe in Sao Paulo. That's what I think. That's what they. I I don't understand. Listen. That's all I am gonna do. Below, I'm going to post this uh, stuff uh, we have gone through, and I'm going to use this video as an ultimate proof, and it's also going to be the answer to these miserables here from London. I am also going to respond to this hilarious it is a hilarious moment prince edward picture riding vr horse oh you know well at least he accomplished something isn't it Royals that have no social media strategy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He's got his hidden message too. Uh, maybe the hidden message is that he just had to do the stuff like this for the people to pay attention to the idiot, to the loser, to the vagabond, good for nothing. to individual that is on a state uh, support because it's the state that needs something like this to hide behind basically and it's a really pathetic state I think I'm quite sure that Britain is pathetic
it's enough they smile and it's every time they got it right isn't it and when it comes to iq that's all inside of the wallet it's actually the only place that suit does makes men pathetic british state no let me see that It's like, really, this is what British pay to promote a nation? That's what they pay them for? That's what you maintain? I mean, this is, this is where your tax dollars, pounds go for into this year? Okay. I'm doing this for the purpose of the date and time. Oh, there you go. This is one place where you can be a complete, complete idiot. Uh, and the only thing you do is you take the stick in your hand. And you can look like an idiot. And you still come out as smart. Even in front of the guy who actually is something and somebody. It doesn't matter. Because this is Great Britain. If there ever was anything different about one. Thanks for watching this video. Till the next time, oh, I am going to take time to play you this more over one more time. And I will also turn I'm also going to turn this thing on. I'm going to do it like this. It takes work, it takes dedication. And on the other hand, across the channel, it takes sleep, it takes the best food, it takes the best cars, it takes the state to sponsor you. But as I stated, it's a British state that pays it, so why not? understand what is this here is it what it started again it restarted itself
I am going to interrupt you here and I'm going to demonstrate you another couple, uh, another engineer that was involved in MKUltra. Uh, these people also live, I think, inside of the apartment building. I'm trying to figure out just uh, something else here Thinking about whether he does have a brothers or sisters. Just standing here and watching these people, I recognize more and more and more people I identify. Let's do something else. Yeah. The video is very strange, actually. It would be better if I would really record one and then just use one as such. I want to see if this it just goes, it just jumps and it goes to the beginning. Yeah, look at that. And streaming sucks, man. Uh, the father and mother are very, very educated. They do have university degrees. Um, and I really don't know what. Uh, he does have also, I think, a sister. Yeah, he does have a sister. And just trying to figure out where they live inside of the apartment building or do they live inside of the uh, house where I would. Uh huh, okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, I'm trying gonna take this one here. We're gonna go this under this here. Right, we did this one here, and we're gonna we're gonna go, and we're gonna do this one here, and then this one here, boom. And I'm gonna do one from the distance. And from the distance, I could actually take even four of these guys with separating the two here. I'm telling you that everybody was almost everybody. Everybody, of course, not, but. Big number of the people was involved in it. Okay. This is actually his sister. This is his sister, that's correct. And I did not, I was not interested in the sister. That's right. Does have a university degree. Whoop. Here is my companion. MK Ultra Man. Uh, they're quite a wealthy people, these people. Uh, 
wealthy people. We got to take this one here and we got to go university degree. Uh, this is not his wife you see next to him. It's his sister. Sister. She was not my type, unfortunately. Because it was a very nice. Uh, the guy was very nice, but uh, everybody was very nice, but. Uh, it was just she, she was just not my type okay maybe she would be my type i have no idea the thing is that the thing is that this is crazy because how the hell are you gonna know like this who is your type and what is not your type and so on and so forth man this is this is you know, people don't understand eh? uh what one creates itself during mk archery is like a totally totally often contrary to what is it happened to me many issues that that i did not understood even uh what you would experience during the real time you know uh so you understand so this is his sister the girl that you see right there that's his sister uh it's not a married couple i want to thank you brother a for this i like that thank you so much and I want to thank your sister too because i know that that's cool uh and next to them this uh, uh parents have degrees parents have degrees um sister has degree sister has degree also yep sister also has a degree we're gonna do this and we're gonna go like this sister also has a degree yeah oh what is this okay uh, sister also has a degree oh my horse i just i don't understand what the hell i did We're talking about the 40 year degrees here and i really want to say thank you to both of you for coming uh we're gonna do it like this like that Sister has a degree. Cool. We're going to do it like this. Uh, parents have degrees, mom, dad. Um, I'm trying to figure out this stuff about all this stuff here. Uh, these are wealthy people. These people um, going between whether they have a house and or they have uh, apartment building. I would say they have both. These are wealthy people. Um, I'm trying to figure out who's got what now. Um, I think the sister. She went on her own or whatever it is. Um, I'm going to stop here. That's all there is. Um, I'm going to stop here because it's so much stuff I have. I really appreciate your help, though. I, I would have to go over, walk a little bit, get some oxygen. I do have to. And there is, to the left side, two guys here. 
And for these two guys, I am really going to cast that the two. <clears throat> well, could be they're from Europe, but I'm not sure. Is it a Czech Republic? Very, very, very possibly. Exactly this year, if you see. For this two, I'm going to cast most likely as from Czech Republic. They are from the Eastern Europe, ex-Eastern Europe, from Eastern Europe. Uh, most likely both involving it too. Uh, but then again, you had people even oh, from the Baltic states, such as Lithuania, Latvia, and so on. Uh, it could be Poland. This is all in area, basically. Well, I say that these guys, and I remember the guy from with his long hair and then the other guy right there. Um, I am actually assuming that these guys are actually from, uh, I'm not going to say about this area, no, from Eastern Europe, either from the Baltic States, Poland, or Czech Republic, which, of which all these countries, uh, Lithuania is actually very, very, very tempting, even, I'm going to say. And, and I know, I know, I know that this is a um, hell of a claim to make. This here, this is a leader of the group here, of the entire group. They uh, named her as the most brilliant girl. I was not wrong about this girl. When it all ends, this one here, this is the most brilliant girl, this one here. This one. They told me that this is the most intelligent girl of them all. This is, this is, this is what they told me, that this is the, the number one of all this group that you have seen. Is, this is the leader of the group. They refer to her as the leader of the group. This is the number one here. I, I'm telling you, this was the diamond. Uh, the number one was this one here. This. Yeah. And she never gave up on me, too. I'm going to put this here. And uh, that's just wonderful. I don't have anything else I would say to, to this. Yeah. So this is the number seven. So do you, do you think I did? Of course, she's got a degree. Of course, this is brilliant. Finished her degree probably already like in 2002, 2003 by supporting home, her mother, maybe single mother at home, whose father actually separated in about also 97, 98 or whatever the case was. Uh, she does have like three half brothers, uh, two sisters and so on. It's a big family. Um, kids at home. She's from a big family, a super strong smart, intelligent, university graduate, and employed by university, I think, girl, who just love to spend time with people, socializing with the people. They called her Diamond, so it must be then it. This one here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the whole thing again. I'm not going to go and, and find more people. It's, it's a bit too much for me. I got uh, other stuff to do. The guy who just passed by is also a uh, guy from uh, Brazil, also a Brazilian guy, local.
one more shot I'm gonna do you're gonna do one more one more shot I'm gonna do is one more I'm gonna do it then I promise you I'm gonna keep my mouth shut um, I'm not doing this no more man I really am not doing this no more um, boom Transparent. We're gonna go back again to the couple. Pink Floyd couple. I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna do this one. And I'm gonna upgrade the claim about the couple. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell you like this about the couple. This time I am gonna go after the girl. She does not have it. He has a three-year education. So we're gonna do. She has like a three-year education. Three-year education. And um, three-year education. This is a very, very beautiful couple. It's a beautiful couple because he supported her emotionally and the government help and in every way possible for her to also finish finished high school i think became a nurse and possibly uh possibly obtained degree i like this very much and yeah, this is a fine work of uh, Brazilian government uh, talking about the girl he got involved with. And I think he's a damn, damn lucky to have a beautiful girl like this next to him. That's the only thing I am going to do. And I'm not going to, I will not open my mouth. So I, I, I promise you that's it for me. Uh, he did a very, very good job with this girl. He's got the best wife in the world, I think. Uh, I would actually congratulate both of them. That's what this is. That's what this case is. Uh, she was like a high school dropout, actually. <clears throat> and then she did complete the high school. She did become like a nurse. She continued to study. She continued to work next to work. She continued to study. And probably even obtain a degree... By now who knows if she didn't i hope that she will that's all i'm gonna do i am not doing anymore i'm gonna quiet like a mouse don't know anything here play you this and uh, thanks for watching this video i am gonna yeah, they gotta go and know other stuff okay cool nice yeah that's also 1080 but it helps to identify people Oh boy, I just want to know this is it. I gotta make sure that they mention that this guy, this is a press guy. I told you that this is a professional journalist, this guy. 
this is a real profession. It doesn't have a badge over there for, it does have a badge for the reason. This is not a coincidence that he does have a badge. I'm going to do it like this and I'll uh, leave this out. And this is a professional journalist. This man was also in our house. Uh, this is a journalist. This is a real, real journalist. I'll copy this one. Go here. I'll do, I'll do this. I'll pop this one here. Uh, have I done that? Yes, I did. Okay, that's fine. And then we're gonna also include my girl here, like this. Okay, so he's gonna get a one pass, bypass. I have no idea. Ah, uh, that should be. I don't know what to say. I love you too. That's all we do. Uh, we don't think, we just do it. Here, we go like this. This gentleman, professional, this is a professional journalist, this man. Professional, professional, journalist, professional journalist. He made a strong name for himself. Uh, let's see what else. He does the work locally, you understand? Uh, he had me with him in his uh, company. He works for some company. He works for some company, for, for some uh, company. I know that he works for the company. I know he worked for the newspaper, local newspaper, because he had me with him when he was doing a coverage uh, and so on. Involved in MKUltra, this man. Yes, indeed. Very important. Professional journalist, yeah. So this is like, I'm just going to go over to see whether is there like other stuff that, 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 that I skip. Okay. Thank you, Brazil. Thank you. Thank you, Sao Paulo. Thank you, people from the Sao Paulo for this. Thank you to you who came uh, to help me out with this issue. Like this. There is a gringo Americano that traveled from the Estado Unido. This gringo from Estado Unido, this is somewhere from I would say that, that, that the gringo from Estado Unidos, I would even say that uh, this man is In the Midwest, I will go look further from Iowa. Nah, uh, sorry. A little bit, I'm gonna look in the map of the United States of America.
The German blonde guy that I demonstrated to you in Berlin lives with the mother inside of the apartment building. His father, however, is from Lübeck, from Germany, or area of Lübeck. They do have a house. It's inherited from his parents, from the father side parents. They always were there. So this is the video I am going to use to push this whole thing uh, to put this on a proper, of course this is MK Ultra proof, so it is possible to be sold because I depend on, I depended on, uh, this is maybe the lady that he dated, the, the black lady that you see right there, possibly even, he did date the black lady. Um, I want to use this. He was trying to one time get one lady and stuff like this. He lives in an apartment building, this guy, you know. I'm gonna add to that stuff too. Sing, babe, sing. There you go. If, it, if she is a single, uh, from what I know, she's still single. How come this girl is single? I don't understand. I don't understand anyway. How come she's still single? I don't understand anyway. For my city, a toast of French, that is a day. Sylvia and the French class. That's her. Oh man, actually, now I understand it. Dentro do coração dos seus fãs, o legado que você deixa é inimaginável, meu amor, é inimaginável. Você é uma estrela. Obrigada, obrigada por tudo. Vá em paz, vá em paz, vá em paz, minha diva. É isso. Obrigada. Meu nome é Aline Mel. Eu sou atriz, apresentadora, musicista. Dediquei uma vida inteira ao estudo da obra da Rita Lee, da vida dela. As músicas dela transformaram minha existência, moldaram o meu caráter. A minha mais elevada gratidão do meu coração à família de Rita Lee. A Rita Lee em pessoa, obrigada a tudo, por tudo. Aos filhos, à música, à arte. A gente faz amor por telepatia, no chão, no mar, na lua, na melodia. Obrigada. No, uh, 
she does have a, a daughter. Uh, she does have a daughter. She, I don't think he's married. I think she's not married, but no longer is even in a, in a relationship with the father of her daughter. So this is the stuff that goes all the way back, back, back to probably, who the hell knows, probably 2010. Uh, she did get somebody. She did have, I think, child. And yeah, that's what this is. So um, what I am going to do right now, I am just going to do uh, a little extra here to all this stuff. Just as I have stated. I am going to go, I am going to add this stuff here. Uh, I think they found a way that I was actually guilty for the child. Uh, I don't know, to be thrown maybe out of the French class, her child or whatever the case might be. Come on. Uh, I wouldn't even correspond with that kind of stuff. Here is my friend from Germany. There it is. And uh, basically, we're going to add to all this stuff. Mother has a part in Berlin. Father inherited house in the back area. And uh, that's damn good for me. I am gonna click here save and I I I probably could do more and that's it but that's it for me thank you very much for watching this video uh, I am definitely gonna use this for the purposes of law enforcement to prove my being in Brazil in fact uh, delivered in exactly the exact fashion I have stated to you in exactly exactly the same everyone exactly through what I stated no. No. what is it okay uh -huh. magic stick.